here comes trouble. See the show the Wall Street Journal calls a huge cartoon hit. Who's laughing now? Cartoon Network has a new number one show. Mr. Popo and I are both very pleased with the progress you have made here. From this point on, there's no looking back. All right, again, is about to begin. Critics agree, quality speaks for itself. Dragon Ball Z. Who's your win? on Gohan, it appeared that the little warrior was knee-deep in trouble. But an unlikely ally intervened at the last minute as Piccolo took Nappa's blast head-on. Get him, God. The noble act caused Piccolo to phase into another dimension until someone can restore him as well as his Namekian counterpart, Kami, with Dragon Balls from the planet Namek. <laughs> But as Goku arrived to face off against the Saiyan bullies, Nappa's fierce and ruthless charges were easily countered by Goku. As Nappa finally received a taste of his own medicine. Ah, Goku's whipping up on him. Yeah. Over. Say your prayers, you traitor. All right, here goes nothing. someone stronger than you. You little runt, you're not stronger than me! Your strength was tested when you were a baby! You're a third-class Saiyan! I'm a Saiyan elite, you low-class dog! Nappa! Don't be a fool! Huh? Calm down! How do you expect to win when you're so mad you can't even see straight? Now settle down! Use your head! All 
at round two. Take a walk on the inside of NASCAR Racing with Raceline. Join Joe Moore each week for a look at America's biggest spectator sport. Penny, Earnhardt, Gordon, Labonte, Wallace, Martin, and Bodine. All the top drivers make stops here every week. Catch your favorite driver this week on Raceline. Watch Raceline Friday night, 11 p.m., Saturday morning at 7.30 on Cox Channel 11. Raceline is brought to you locally each week by Newport News Shipbuilding Employees Credit Union. Olympic tennis. This September during the Sydney 2000 Games, watch Andre Agassi, one of tennis's premier players, defend his 1996 gold medal. Tune in to CNBC and MSNBC for complete coverage of Olympic tennis competition. It's all part of the Complete Olympics on NBC, CNBC, and MSNBC. Brought to you locally in part by Ferris Baker Watts. We want your business. We'll earn your trust. Blastback! Blastback! Nerf NFL Turbo Blastback Football! Rail it against the wall and it blasts back! You're the QB and the receiver! Cool new shape makes passive! Oh, blast! Nerf NFL Blastback Football! It's Nerf for nothing! I've broken a lot of bones learning tricks like these. All you gotta break? is a sweat. Introducing Dave Mira Freestyle BMX. With 12 courses and over 1,300 tricks, you get all of Dave's moves and none of his scars. Rated E. Now, from the Fruit Roll-Ups factory comes an idea that's really out there. Ah, it's new Galaxy Blast Fruit Roll-Ups with swirls of fruity cosmic colors ah. and spacey peel-outs. Yeah. New Galaxy Blast Fruit Roll-Ups. Okay, break's over. Oh, what fun fruit roll-ups will we roll out with next? It's Kraft Pokemon Macaroni and Cheese! C-Rex is searching high and low. Faustic's cheesy Pokemoni! On a nine-step journey only! It's Kraft Macaroni and Cheese! Six boxes, each with six of your favorite Pokemon shapes. Pikachu! Meowth! Hollywood, Jigglypuff, Squirtle, and Charmander. I got it. Eat them all. Stop being cheesy macaroni with crap Pokemon. <laughs> Remember Marvin's Magic Drawing Board? Well, now you can create magic of your own with Marvin's Magic Made Easy. Make a ball float in the air. It really is magic. Look, with these mystical magic cards, every card is different. But look, the chosen card appears on command. And look again. Magically, it floats to the top of the deck. Amazing! And now you can do it. With the amazing wizard cards, shuffle the deck, but find the aces instantly every time. It's incredible! Best of all, you get the complete set, including the wizard and mystical magic cards, plus the book of 110 amazing tricks with everyday objects. We'll also include this bonus book of 125 additional card tricks. And remember to ask our operator about this remarkable magic pen set. Sold separately. Call 1-800-598-3636. That's 1-800- 1-800-598-3636 must be 18 years or older. Order your Marvin's Magic Made Easy set. Call 1-800-598-3636. To ensure peace and tranquility, you're all mine now. The fate of a society is entrusted to a few brave souls. Here, they are known as guardians. Command line, full delete. Mainframe. Inside your computer. Reach the edge of the earth. Reboot. Today at 4.30. Welcome to the machine. Your resistance is futile. Tsunami. I know the odds are against me, but if there's a way to win, I'm gonna find it. Dragon Ball Z now continues. smiling about something. Oh, who cares? He can smile all he wants. He doesn't have anything on Goku. No, don't! <laughs> you fool! Why'd you go and do that? Never mind. I did it because I felt like it, so there. You should learn to respect your elders. Well, you should learn not to shower people when you're trying to make a point. That breath of yours isn't exactly kissing fresh, you know. And serve 
you right. Uh, Ladies, huh? please. I think we're all a little high strung. Let's try to calm down. Yeah, besides, we're missing all the action. Goku could be in trouble for all we know. Well, I guess I did go a little overboard earlier. Mm. So I'm sorry. Now, where's the picture? Something's wrong. Huh? Come on. Hey, this isn't a television set. All right. That's enough. This has gone too far, girls. Remember that you're guests in this... <laughs> oh, ow! Oh, hey! Oh, what did I do? <laughs> hey, you can't get me up here. Oh. Huh? What's the deal? It looks like it's about to short circuit. There's a disturbance in the Earth's energy. <laughs> Too close for comfort. I don't get it. He's like some sort of super fly. Somehow I need to squash him. This could go on forever. Man, I really need to use the KO can attack on this guy. But King Kai said to try and do without it. All right, that's it. Enough. You heard me, Nappa. Come down here. You're finished. <laughs> So far, you haven't managed to land a single punch. I think you've embarrassed us long enough. Now, oh great, now we're in trouble. He's so strong that even the big guy is scared of him. Yikes, come on, Dad. <sighs> well, fun's over. Vegeta's gonna mop the floor up with you, Kakarot. Bye. Now, what can I do for fun? He's after them! Not gonna make it! I really don't know. Hey, Vegeta, take him down for me. Wow, Goku, you must have really hurt that guy. I think I heard him calling for his mommy. He won't be fighting anymore. I suggest you take him back wherever you came from and get him some help. He's so confident. How did he achieve that drastic increase in power and speed? Goku, 
Goku, how did you do that? I couldn't even see it. King Kai must have taught you that one. Uh-huh. It's the K.O. Ken attack. It's like a massive upsurge of energy. Everything is heightened. Power, speed, even hearing and vision increases dramatically. You sort of become a super self, but it can only be sustained for a short time, so you have to get the job done quick. Radical! You should be really pleased! I mean, to improve that much in such a short time? <laughs> Thank you. Well, this is it. What an unlikely matchup. So what's the deal, Goku? I mean, why all the sandbagging? With an attack like that, you could have taken him out any time you wanted! Problem is, there's always a chance that the increase of energy could have destroyed my body. But I'm still here, aren't I? Yeah! Yeah. <laughs> Vegeta, give me a hand! I can't get up! Thank you! <laughs> sure, it's the least I can do, Nappa. Maybe you won't be such a disappointment in the next dimension. Roshis. But, Dad... Uh... Uh, uh, huh? I see. Gohan, listen to your dad. Let's get going. No, I, I can't go. Don't you get it? I don't want to leave either. But these guys are in a different league altogether. Vegeta could even use us against your dad if he got a hold of one of us and threatened to hurt us. Huh? Daddy, is that true? Yes, Gohan. Krillin's right. I'll be much better off if I face him alone. Mm. All right. Whatever you say. Oh, yeah. Goku, don't rely on grabbing his tail. We tried that already. Huh? Yeah, Piccolo grabbed the big guy's tail and got hammered. Real bad. Oh, thanks for telling me, Krillin. Hey, Dad. Please, come home. You have to win. Yeah, I will. Well, of course you will. You're Goku. And besides, you're right. You got the power of good on your side. Thanks, Krillin. Well, it's time. Don't you guys worry about me. I'll be just fine. <laughs> Hey, Kakarot, don't tell me that you're getting cold feet. I thought we were going to fight in this century. What a guy. It's a shame he's so determined to be on the side of evil. He'd make a good sparring partner. Goku! Hmm? You're my friend. We grew up together. 
Let's just make sure that, well, that we both grow old together. Right. I couldn't have asked for a better best friend than you, Krillin. Goodbye, Daddy. Goodbye, Gohan. I'm very proud of you. Hey, I bet your mom is at Master Roshi's. Why don't you give her a big hug for me, okay? <sighs> Can you do that for me, Gohan? Yep. Go get him, Goku! <laughs> so, Kakarot, you ready to have a go of it? I know a better place than this. Wherever. Just lead the way. Bye, Daddy. There they go. Yeah. Hey, Gohan! Huh? I guess we better get going. Mm-hmm. Hey, Gohan, try not to worry. Your dad knows what he's doing. He's got everything under control. Hey, I'm serious. Goku's the baddest dude in the galaxy. You and I are a team. We really did great, don't you think so? Yeah. Yeah, no one will get hurt if we fight way out here. You and I would make a good team. With Nappa gone, I could use a good man. There's no one in the universe who could touch us. We would rule the planets and you could have anything you wanted. Anything. Nothing would be out of your grasp. Well, what do you say, Kakarot? Look, I've got everything I ever wanted right here on Earth. All I need is my family. Besides, I've seen how you treat your partners. There's not a lot of job security. <laughs> All right then, so be it. You had your chance.
Paleo can attack is a nice trick, but I've encountered something just like it before. Huh? <laughs> Don't tell me that's all you've got. If it is, you better quit. Man, this does not look too good. <laughs> Funny. As grim as things look right now, I kind of like the challenge. Next time on Dragon Ball Z, it's Saiyan versus Saiyan in a decisive showdown. Next time on Dragon Ball Z. you by Crash Bash, only on PlayStation. The hit movie, The Road to El Dorado, is now on video. El Dorado. It will make you cheer. It will make you laugh. <laughs> and now, it can make you golden. Every video comes with an instant win card. Let's have a look. Just peel and win. Every card has a prize, like a golden Razor scooter, and one card is worth a million dollars. We'll be living like king! The Road to El Dorado, the hit movie on video that could make you golden. Rated PG. Pokemon the Movie 2000, now on video. See how one person can make all the difference. Each video includes a free exclusive Pikachu game card and a free collectible coin while supplies last. Pokemon the Movie 2000, rated G, now on video cassette and DVD. Closing. It's Rad 2.0, the radio controlled robot. He does pretty much whatever you want him to do. Waist down, arms closing, waist up. Hey, we know how tough your life can be. Rad 2.0 battery is not included from Toy Max. Donald's going quackers on video games now. You can save Daisy from the evil Murloc and control Donald's explosive temper. It's non-stop wacky quacky video game action. Ready to eat for everyone. Disney's Donald Duck going quackers available now. Sea-Watch rocks. Be front row center for NSYNC. Sea-Watch digital animation that you activate. Be noticed with NSYNC. Sea-Watch rocks. Feature stopwatch, date, time, alarm, music, and digital animation. Each so separate. All right, we're going to go play some ball. You got to try this. Radicus, play TV baseball. Plug it into the TV and you're on the field. Let's go. See if you can hit my curveball. Oh, yeah. Pitch and bat against each other. Play on your own. Play TV baseball. You can never hit my inside fastball. It's out of here. Full length day or night games. Home run derby. Pitch and bat like you're on the field. Man, I never knew you could play this real on TV. That's Radica. Play TV. The next generation of games. Batteries not included. Tuesday night. See playmaker Eddie Jones and the high flying Hornets take on Steve Francis and the Rockets in the hot Rockets. Hornets. Tomorrow night at 8. The NBA on TNT. It's Brack presents the Brack Show starring Brack, music, comedy, Zorak, and Brack. Wow! See Brack sing a duet with Monica. I love the way that you walk. Jam with the Chieftains. <laughs> and take a ride with Freddy Prince Jr. In my big old pick of truck. It's Brack presents the Brack Show starring Brack tonight at 8. Because Brack is back. Troa Barton, stoic almost to a fault. He completes his missions with ruthless efficiency. I will correct the mistakes brought on by your weakness. Gundam Wing, coming March 6th. Suit up.
Dragon Ball Z. Goku gave Nappa some of his own medicine. And when Nappa turned his attention to Krillin and Gohan, Goku had to come to their aid using the awesome KO Can Attack. Now what? <laughs> Vegeta gave his ailing comrade a hand, and it was lights out for the evil giant. Nice work, Goku. But will the KO Ken attack be enough against Vegeta? Stay tuned. Look into my crystal ball. There you will see it all. Now for all your worth, show us the fight for the planet Earth. Bummer. Hey, what's the matter? No go, huh? I'll give you a go if you want to go. All right, let's step outside. You're the one who broke it, toots. Hey, girls, it's not broken. Stop it. Huh? I think the crystal ball is overwhelmed. Goku and Vegeta are emitting an inconceivable amount of energy. Oh, this is no ordinary fight. So, it's starting? I mean, Goku and that guy are fighting? Well, I think so. I know. We can check it out on the scouter. Sometimes you amaze me, Bulma. What does it say? Let's see. Two gigantic powers due west. Mm. Only two? <laughs> oh, Daddy! There, there, hon. has reached the stars, but the galaxy is troubled. The Earth's Sphere Alliance rules the outlying colonies with an iron fist. Those who oppose them die. Battles are waged with mobile suits, the key to military dominance. The only hope for the colonies, five elite soldiers and their legendary mobile suits called Gundams. These pilots will shake the foundations of the Alliance and change the course of history, if they can stay alive. Eliminate all obstacles. And who are you anyway? Say goodbye. You guys, your fight will catch you! From the Gundam universe, a new chapter in one of the greatest anime sagas of all time. Gundam Wing, coming March 6, 2000. Suit up. <laughs> Only to not. Voting. It determines the future of your country, your environment, your space program, and your schools. When you vote, you're honoring your country, your cartoons, and yourself. Voice the choice. Vote in Cartoon Campaign 2000 for your favorite cartoon candidate. To vote, check out specially marked packages of Kraft Macaroni and Cheese. Then watch Cartoon Campaign 2000 Countdown on Saturday, March 18th from noon to 10 p.m. to see which cartoon candidate wins. Cartoon Campaign 2000, all brought to you by Kraft Kids Brands, only on Cartoon Network. All-new Digi Battle Card Game from Bandai. Digimon. You run away again, buddy, and you're totally grounded. Hey, the renegade Digimon. They run away, and you have to get them back. The Digimon World Video Game, rated T. New from Bandai. Digimon. Do a trick! <laughs> I've done lots of stuff! Ah. 
Rocket comes with voice control headset and everything here. Batteries not included. Faster than a speeding bullet. More powerful than a locomotive. You know the rest. Red, blue, yellow. Primary, but it works in a superhero-ish kind of way. The future of Metropolis is in the hands of a man of steel. Superman. Tonight at 6.30. Only to Bobby. Hi, you've reached Big Expensive Parts. To proceed in English, press 1. You have indicated that you wish to proceed in English. If that is correct, press 1. If not, press 2. You have indicated that we were correct in thinking you wish to proceed in English. If that is correct, press 1. If not... Dexter's Laboratory. Weeknights at 7.30 on Cartoon Network. Brought to you by America's favorite chocolate milk, Nestle's Nesquik. Chocolate milk? Think Nesquik. Contra Rababa winner. While a poet and an artist, he is a leader of men, not to be taken lightly. Shouldn't be fighting at all! Gundam Wing, coming March 6th, suit up. won't work, I guess I'll try a triple. Sorry, King Kai, but I don't see any other way. What's the matter, Kakarot? You don't seem too eager to continue. Don't mind me. Feel free to lead off any time. Goku's crazy. Mm -hmm. I'd hightail it out of there. I'll give you one last chance. Join me or perish. All right, I'll try the triple KO Ken attack. I hope my body can take it. <laughs> I keep forgetting that you're an Earthling now. You don't even have a tail, do you? Why did you let them operate on you? What they do, get you while you were sleeping? Now I see why you have no desire to join me on the hunt. If we still had a home planet, you'd be a laughing stock there. Oh, man. It looks like Goku's in big trouble. This 
might be a good time to run like mad. All right, I'm ready. Please hold together, body. This isn't a game. Goku's power level is rising rapidly. At this rate, he'll explode. Oh no! Goku! Huh? 17,000? 19,000? Over 21? Wow! Oh, 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 oh. Are you okay? Yeah, I, I think so. Boy, oh boy, talk about overload! Man! What's the matter? Uh, uh, hey, Gohan, come on! What? No! I told him not to go over a double! No matter what! This isn't good. I don't know if his body can handle it. I didn't have time to prepare him for that. <sighs> it's not good. But we can still hope.
Yes. But what about Gohan? I want to know what's happened to him. Baba, can you get it to work? Bobbly boo. Open sesame. Oh, I give up. I've tried every incantation I know. Goku's gotta be doing good. His power level's higher than the Empire State Building. Yeah, I'd say you're right about that. Boy. Maybe he's already won. Yeah. I don't know, gang. I seriously doubt it. Huh? huh? You know, a candle flickers violently just before it burns out. You're saying that Goku's in trouble? No, I'm talking about candles. Of course he's in trouble. Abracadabra. Hocus pocus. <laughs>
gang, this looks like it could be the final showdown. can hardly move. Ugh. Yeah, good thing it's over. Huh? Isn't it? Well, at this particular moment, things are looking pretty good. I don't think he's enjoying himself. Wow, how cool! Us standing together! The victory won, comrades! Not quite. He's regaining control, and he'll be off my beam soon and probably mad as a hornet, I bet. Huh? Are you sure? Mm-hmm. See you, Goku! Huh? Looks like you got everything under control. was your genius father who invented this little technique. My father? We ran into some radical weaponry on Rigol 7, and things were looking grim until your father did this. <laughs> your father was an average fighter, Kakarot, but he was a brilliant scientist. Who else but him would have thought of creating an energy source that perfectly simulated full moonlight? <laughs> Now your own father's invention will be your undoing, Kakarot. Huh? Let there be light. What is it for? Goku, troubles on the rise. Is there any hope for the warrior? Stay tuned for scenes from the next episode of Dragon Ball Z. Vegeta transforms, and it's a game of survival for Goku. But does our hero really have a chance? Find out on the next episode of Dragon Ball Z.
Yes, Norman. Master Roger, in West Dome number five, there's a report of a giant robot. Hmm? A mechanized army of circuitry and metal, cold and emotionless, carry out tasks without conscience. Robots, thousands, programmed for destruction. March towards the future is coming. Man's greatest inventions, making the impossible possible, are no longer under our control. Technological strength will just become a threat to the Earth. This new breed of technology makes humanity obsolete. Robots, thinking, acting on their own, begin their march toward domination. Built by man, serve no one. The robots among us, watching, waiting, calculate their new world order. Their time is coming. They cannot be stopped. Attention, strange weapons are approaching. the office or at home get your email from any computer log on to cnn.com it's free fast and accessible worldwide log on to cnn.com and get your free email account today hero yui bred for battle he walks the path of a warrior will he choose love or hate what's wrong with me gundam wing coming march 6th suit up Roger Smith. I perform a much needed job here in the city of Amnesia. Big o! Oh no! It started! I can picture the look on your face now, Roger Smith. Get yourself killed! Seems like the tables have turned. Job should be up to the professionals. To crawl in the streets again. These people make me sick. Looks like we'll need to do some serious cleaning around here soon, right? Yes, sir. Major Hillary, would you mind if I took a right up here on West 34th Street? That okay? The fastest way to get to the 7th Avenue Dome is along the river, so just keep going on straight. But, sir, the fog. 
You don't believe in those nonsense rumors, do you? <laughs> well, there was heavy fog the night of the Major Serrano incident. And don't forget, it, it was just like when Lieutenant Colonel Schweimer's car had overturned. Absurd! It's... Those two simply died in accidents. There are no ghosts, and there never will be. I don't know who's telling you these things, but- Hey! <laughs> what do you think you're doing, you idiot? Uh, 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 uh. Uh. What is that? <laughs> When someone comes to me wearing an expensive suit, they tend to have an attitude to match. And lawyers are always the worst. I'm not too fond of you either, Mr. Negotiator. I have several rules here when people pay a visit, Mr. Fraser. If someone lacks courtesy and sincerity, I ask them to leave. Norman, these gentlemen will be leaving now. <laughs> I realize that you don't base your client selection on how much they can pay. Then why did you even come here? Neither one of us likes to waste time now, do we? That's true. You have a point there. But then again, even though I lack courtesy and sincerity, as you put it, I haven't forgotten how to respect and listen to my old mother. You took that job from the other day, didn't you? I thought that you had an aversion to people like that. That's just it. He's not the client. It's Melissa Frazier. Tomorrow she'll be having her 75th birthday. The billionaire woman who lives over in East Town? All of the famous lawyers in town belong to her firm. Although she no longer presides over the board of directors, it seems she has some rather shady dealings in the past. Sir, why would you want... Uh, Norman? Oh dear, excuse me, sir. I suppose I have spoken out of turn. Don't you understand? Norman is only worried. It's very simple, Roger. Of course. I understand. He's worried. East Town. It's mostly an artificial place. But it is a paradise that happens to be bursting with bright sunshine and smiling faces. It may be fabrication, but the price you pay to acquire this luxury is considerably high. Nevertheless, yes, I'm Roger Smith. I took the job knowing every bit of what I might be getting into. The reason is a simple one. I value women and the elderly. It's one of my policies. How do you do, Mr. Smith? Please, call me Roger, ma'am. Very well, Roger. I'm quite familiar with your reputation. They all say that once you take on a job, you always see it through till the job is done. You're very kind, ma'am. That's Bonnie, my dear, dear boy who joined the military police. Huh? I'm sure you were looking at that picture of my son on the mantle, weren't you? Yes, ma'am, but... It's very strange, but after my unfortunate illness, I had lost my sight, yet now I am able to sense things I have never before dreamed possible. That's why I had Rick ask you to come here today, because I knew you were a very honest and dependable man, and that you would understand. So how did it go, Mr. Negotiator? Do you think you can do what my mother asked? Yes, Rick. I'll do everything I can. You're a bigger fool than I thought. What, are you insane? She asked you to find Bonnie and bring him back here for her birthday tomorrow, didn't she? That's right. Ah, you know that Bonnie's already gone. 
He passed a year ago when he fell into the Hudson after a shootout with some thugs. Yes, I heard, but Bonnie's remains never surfaced. You gonna hire a lookalike or something? Won't make any difference, she can't see anyway. Or are you stupid enough to find some guy who sounds like him? I was hired to do an honest day's work, and that's what I'm gonna do. He's nothing but a fraud. Bonnie was nothing but a kind and thoughtful boy. Unlike Rick and myself, he had such a strong sense of justice. That must be why he left this mansion. He'd learned what horrible things I did in order to achieve my position and fame in this city. He found out everything. You see, I don't have much longer in this life. These are my final days, so I want to at least see him again and talk to him, mother to son. Please, won't you help me? Even I remember the Bonnie Fraser shooting. Just a year ago, there was a free-for-all over land buyouts in the area. Between people who live outside the domes and the military police, those opposed to the work expanding the domes ignited a large-scale riot. But a single event brought it to an end. The unlawful and unfortunate passing of Bonnie, a young officer lost in the line of duty, was ironically the main factor in bringing peace between the military police and the protesters. Melissa buried that painful memory and lost all of her memories, just like this city. I had no idea you negotiated with ghosts. <laughs> you heard the rumors about the ghost in the fog, haven't you? Yes. They say that three top brass of the military police have been taken out. So, is there a connection between any of the three and the buyout riots a year ago? Their badges may say military police, but they're really just Paradigm's lapdogs. They sometimes play dirty to eliminate trouble. There was something more to Bonnie's demise, wasn't there? If you want to live long in this city, you shouldn't push things too far. Young folks have a hard time understanding that, sometimes. I'll take it you were directing that at me. If you don't feel like answering my question, I'll ask someone else. Don't get so worked up. It looks like Bonnie had stumbled onto something, all right. Some rumors say he was eliminated because of it. They say that the three brass in question were pulling the strings behind the buyout. And to be honest with you, it looks like there might have been one other guy. What's his name? Colonel Anthony Gauss. They say this ghost business has him a little spooked. There's a little extra in appreciation of the warning. One of these days, you'll really listen to what I have to tell you and ignore the words you only want to hear. We old folks have to teach you youngsters that the sun will never rise over this city again. Am I not right, Roger? Master Roger says he'll be late again tonight. He takes his job seriously. We must prepare for emergencies at any rate. We should have our dinner now. Then I will join you, if you don't mind me being there for form's sake. <laughs> That's quite enough, I assure you. You want me to tell you where Colonel Gauss is? You must be joking! What gives you the right to ask something like that? Nothing, you're absolutely right, forgive me. Hmm, then get out of here. I have a ton of work and you're keeping me from getting it done. Well then, now that you mention it, since you claim to have so much pride in your work, Major Dawson, I would think that it would be your obligation to answer me a question. Be my obligation? What are you talking about? You know as well as I do that Bonnie Fraser believed in the justice of the military police. Hmm. Okay, I admit that some things about the Fraser shooting last year don't hold water. But what? Dawson! What? You lost sight of the Colonel's car? What do you mean? 
If I don't hurry, something terrible will happen. The Big O will return the games. Only Sears Portrait Studio has the magic with our new background featuring Frosty the Snowman. Save 50%, only $5.95 a sheet. Get holiday portraits with Frosty. Only at Sears. Hurry in. Is he gonna wake up? Don't wake Daddy. Is he gonna wake up? Don't wake Daddy. The game where you try to sneak into the kitchen without waking Daddy. Land on a noise, it could be back to bed for you. Don't wake Daddy. From Parker Brothers. Now with a new 30-second cotton candy maker, just add a little bit of sugar, press the button, and you can have delicious cotton candy in seconds. The new 30-second cotton candy maker. How parents eat pizza. You eat pizza. Chuck E. Cheese's. The real cool place to be a kid. Parents don't have to get it. They just have to help get you there. There's a magic lagoon where you will see Barbie's mermaid. Let's a pretty Here comes Sister Chrissy. Watch them twirl and play. Stay close, Chrissy. See her clamps up low. Her time show lights up. But she's got everything your baby sister needs. Magical mermaids, Barbie and Chrissy. Magical mermaids, Barbie and Chrissy dolls come with everything here. Batteries not included. And now, just in time for the holidays, Celebration Barbie dolls. This Thanksgiving, love is in the air. I'm gonna get some Bobby. That'll be the day. Rep cars on the loose. Ah! ah rep cars, book or slip just like your jelly car. And Paris. Really? Will never be the same. Wow! A body that squirts you back. Rugrats in Paris, the movie. Which one of you babies put your poopy diaper in my suitcase? <laughs> Rated G starts Friday, November 17th. The best reason to get out of bed. I will give you commands. You will obey them. You can't! Tsunami, the rising sun. Saturday mornings at 10. Only Tsunami. Yeah! Troa Barton. Stoic almost to a fault. He completes his missions with ruthless efficiency. I will correct the mistakes brought on by your weakness. Gundam Wing. Coming March 6th. Suit up. The Big O now continues. Hmm? This isn't the way we usually go back. And I can't see our escort cars. Driver, what's going on here? <laughs> Hey, you. What do you think you're doing? This is the right way back, Colonel Gauss. Huh? Wait, this is... Hard to forget, isn't it? Just a year ago, you dropped me from here. Huh? Impossible. Yes, that's right. Your subordinate found out about your little scheme. And then the four of you dropped me off the bridge without a moment's hesitation, just like you were throwing out the trash! Oh, no! Wait, I'm sorry! I was all wrong! I know what I did was wrong! Apologizing won't do you any good. It's too late for that. You see, I'm already dead. What's the matter, Colonel Gauss? Can't you show a little dignity? I believed in justice and something as disgraceful as you! Somebody help me! Somebody! Your time is up, Colonel Gauss. It's the ghost!
is this? Don't let it scare you! Do you hear me? Don't stop! Keep firing at it till you run out of shots! What the? There's no way! Don't tell me! Don't tell me that thing really is a ghost! Uh -huh. Deuce. Well, you should be satisfied now, shouldn't you, Mr. Ghost? Now, Big O, in action! might have trouble dealing with this thing. Oh. It's all over. Yes! It didn't work. It's hopeless. Not at all. The real trick behind it all was this fog it generated. Major, it's getting away! Shouldn't we go after it? Forget it. Deuce. There's something about it I really hate. Could you tell me just one thing? Exactly where did you get that robot from, Bonnie Fraser? Hmm. Mind if I sit down? I'm a little tired. I would answer your question, but I'm really not sure about it myself, to be honest. On that day a year ago... <gasps> Why did you do that? You're the leader of the protesters, the one who exposed our operation. That man told us everything. You mean... You mean to tell me he was in on it too? Rich kids with a privileged upbringing have no concept of reality. <gasps> I'm sorry, but this is the end. As I was sinking, as I was... 
was losing consciousness. I kept screaming to myself, is it okay if I go like this? That's when it happened. My life was saved. When I came to, I knew how to operate that robot. I don't know if it was part of my own memories or someone else implanted it in me. All I knew for sure was that I had to get revenge on those people. I had that one strong desire. Actually, I was asked by a certain lady to come see you. Huh? Tell me, Bonnie, do you happen to remember what the date is today, Mr. Ghost? That will be all for now. If you could set out dinner for two, please, that would be fine. My son will be joining me later. Very well, ma'am. Welcome home, dear. I knew it. I knew you would come back home, even if it's only for this day. Happy birthday, Mama. You're a son that a mother can truly be proud of. I can honestly say that I don't deserve a son as good as you. I'm proud of you too, Mama. Honest, I love you, Mama. Thank you. But son promised me one thing. Yes, Mama. You are much too kind. You must promise me that you won't let others abuse you and take advantage of you. I've always worried about you, my boy. Of course, I understand. Aren't you going home? I thought your job was already finished. Do you mind if I make sure of something? Sure of something? Of what? It's wonderful that a kid today, regardless of what he hears, believes that the sun will rise over the city one day. Hmm. <laughs> I can't believe you'd even negotiate with a top-class lawyer like him. <gasps> oh. Don't worry about it. I'll do my best to see that he gets a fair trial. <gasps> hey, <laughs> on the justice and honor of the military police. Bonnie! My brother Rick. Please see that he does. Dead or Alive 2.5. Anyone who's played this game before won't be in for any surprises. It certainly looks beautiful and I dig the reversals, but not a lot of depth here. Dead or Alive 3 gets a 6 out of 10. Close, but no cigar. Now on to one of the biggest Xbox titles, Oddworld Munch's Odyssey, sequel to Abe's Odyssey on the PS1. It's essentially more of the same, but the big news here is the leap to 3D. This time you use a new character, Munch, in conjunction with your old pal, Abe. This is a great game, but it's a little long. Oddworld Munch's Odyssey gets an 8 out of 10. Finally, I had to get him a race on, so I checked Project Gotham Racing. Xbox's answer to Gran Turismo. 
All I have to say about this game is kudos. But otherwise, it's a solid racing title, but nothing to build a franchise on. Gotta give this one a 7 out of 10. Nice try. Overall, the Xbox is a powerful machine. Besides DVD and video game capabilities, you can rip CDs and listen to your MP3s with any game. Looks like Xbox has come out of the gate pretty strong. Tsunami gives the Xbox launch an 8 out of 10. Nice work, Mr. Softy. Funky flowers with shiny gems. Cool accessories. Comes with everything you see here. Donald's going crackers on video games now. You can save Daisy from the evil Murloc and control Donald's explosive temper. It's non-stop wacky quacky video game action. Ready to eat for everyone. Disney's Donald Duck going quackers available now. Adventures of the Ram Squad. The evil Techno Raider Crusher captures the capital in his terrifying vehicle, the all-terrain pain. Can Ace Ratchet and his Ram Squad stop it? Bingo! Put missile launchers and jet wings on my spy sportster! Right! I'll let right off, too, Ace! I put a blaster on my vehicle, it'll smash the any target. Introducing Rams. Snap them together. Take them apart. Parts from every model snap on other models. Each Rams model has its own action figure. Collect all six Rams. Rebuildable action model system. New from Ravel, wherever model kits are sold. With the new Radio DJ, you can make your voice come out of any radio for real. Here are today's winning lottery numbers. You can even send music. Fourteen. Mm, Fourteen. Seven. Seven. And the final number is... Thirty-two. One. I don't want! <laughs> Kids! I'm tripling your allowance! <laughs> make any radio a riot with the Radio DJ from Wild Planet. Batteries and radio not included. Wild Planet, where fun comes from. Welcome to Aviation Challenge, a totally unique camp. With simulators so real, fantasy becomes reality. A camp where you don't spend five days, you survive five days. Where you don't vie to be top camper, you compete for top gun. Where you'll train to be a jet fighter pilot. Just like a real jet fighter pilot. And where poison ivy will be the least of your worries. Gotcha. If you're up for the challenge, call today. 1-800-241-5086. That's 1-800-241-5086. Duel Maxwell. To his enemies, the death side. He'll find a way to save his colony or take them all down with him. Anyone who sees me has got a date with his maker. Gundam Wing, coming March 6th. Suit up. My name is Roger Smith. I perform a much needed job here in the city of Amnesia. Big O! Oh no! I can picture the look on your face now, Roger Smith. You're gonna get yourself killed! Seems like the tables have turned. Job should be up to the professionals. Do you agree? Good morning, Roger. Dorothy, give me a break. 
It's early. No, it's already past noon. I intend to do this whenever you lay around in bed too long. Just come on. Going out, sir? I thought you had nothing planned today. I have to see an old friend. And you'll be taking Miss Dorothy along with you. If I want to preserve my peaceful mornings at all. Waking up leisurely in a tranquil frame of mind is a simple pleasure I relish, but unfortunately Dorothy's grating musical repertoire is putting an end to that enjoyable routine. Therefore, Come down. You do have sharp ears. Roger. This person is playing a rendition of a classical sonata. However... Yes, I know what you're going to say. He doesn't follow the sheet music as precisely as you do. But... But what? His playing has more heart. Look around you, Dorothy. So, what may I get for you two? It's been a long time, Roger Smith. And you play a legato that's still flawless, Instro. That performance was excellent. Thank you very much. This is a friend. I'd like you to meet Dorothy Wainwright. Dorothy, allow me to introduce our Instro. It's perfectly tuned, and there's not a speck of dust on it. <laughs> that hasn't changed either. No. It belonged to my father, Amadeus. Amadeus? That's the name of this establishment. That's right. My father built and owned this place. He left the piano to me. Instro here is an android. He was created by his father, a brilliant scientist named Amadeus. He was a man who adored the piano. Father would often mention to me how much he enjoyed my music. Nothing in the world gave me more happiness than seeing my father's face as he listened to me play. Which brings me to why I'm here. There's something that only your talent can help me with. What's that? Could you teach Dorothy that song you just played? 
I'd be delighted to, if you don't mind. It's a pleasure to meet you, Miss Dorothy. Her fortissimo is forceful, and her pianissimo is very delicate. She has impeccable pedal control. She's an accomplished pianist. I see no reason for her to take lessons from me. I was hoping that you could possibly give her some pointers on the way you... way to approach the piano. Again with your demanding requests. A beautiful performance as always, Instro. Huh? I'm sorry. I simply assumed... Mr. Gisang! Tell me, are you still not interested in fulfilling your late father's legacy, Instro? Forgive me, Mr. Gisang, but I'm right in the middle of this young lady's lesson. Today's, uh... I see. I'll come some other time, then. I'm terribly sorry. Don't worry. I'll be back. Instro. Who was that gentleman? Now, let's pick up where we left off, Miss Dorothy. Nope. Haven't set foot in that joint since you left the force. Say, how's that piano is faring? What was his name? Instro? <clears throat> huh? Yeah. He's fine, but something's got me concerned. Ever heard of a fellow named Gisang? How'd you come across that name? Well, I think he's Instro's guardian or something. Just a minute. Compared with Instro's piano, this one is not as finely tuned. Miss Dorothy, I'm surprised. Does something like that actually bother you? Not really. You knew that Amadeus met his fate in a lab accident, right? Yeah. Well, Gisang was there too, but he survived. <clears throat> his research partner? You mean Gisang's a scientist? Uh-huh. But I sure don't know what he's up to now. After the accident, all the funding for the work the two of them had been doing was cut off by Paradigm. Paradigm was bankrolling them? Why in the world would he be closed at this hour? Ah. <sighs> <sighs> hmm? Instro! <sighs> A haywire phonosonic machine caused the accident? Right. I don't know what kind of experimentation they were doing with sound waves, but half of Amadeus' home was leveled. Blown away. That's weird. No debris anywhere. Roger. Roger, I... Please. Please, you must bring him back safely. Huh? It's a surprise, to say the least, to hear words like that coming out of your mouth. We're not finished with my lessons yet. Whatever you say. And there's a fee. Your payment will be my improved ability to play. That's music to my ears. It's bright.
Brack presents The Brack Show, starring Brack, music, comedy, Zorak, and Brack. Wow! See Brack sing a duet with Monica. I love the way that you walk. Jam with the Chieftains. And take a ride with Freddie Prince Jr. In my big old pick it's Brack presents the Brack Show starring Brack tonight at 8 because Brack is back. My boys Randy and John from Webster Chrysler Jeep know that selling cars is like playing football. You gotta have a plan. Ooh. You need to have the right touch, but you also have to be big enough to tackle the deal. <laughs> Score big during Webster's year end clearance sale. With 0% financing on Concord and LHS. Cherokee Sports with 0.9 financing. Or drive a 300M for only $3.99 a month. Hey, remember, Webster Chrysler always goes the extra yard for you. You keep trying, honey. The race of life goes not to the swift, but to those who persevere. To those who carry on when every mile seems like two, every minute, an hour. For them, little by little, each obstacle falls. To reveal that the impossible task is quite possible after all. Tenacity. We teach it. Now for the star of our show, Sonny the Seal. Sonny the Seal's his name, and Ring Toss is his name. First to get three rings around Sonny wins. Yay! Yeah. Sonny clap and sing. We did it, Sonny. Sonny the Seal from Milton Bradley. Batteries not included. Holy moly! You gotta bop and moan! Holy moly! The bop and in the hole! It's holy moly! Bop the mole in the hole! Better be fast, the time won't last! Holy moly! Holy moly! The electronic bop the mole in the hole game! Batteries not included! What if we had the power launch car for super speed? Blast the cars at super speed! Super launcher! It's big and bad, has the trigger I need! Engine screaming! Aim up! Launch up! Go rapid fire! Doing hot stunts anytime. I'm oh, super big, super launcher. Blasting tons of cars fast is what it's all about. Hot wheels leading the way. New hot wheels super launcher. Adult assembly required. Additional launchers, cars, accessories, and batteries. Not blue. No. Strawberry. Banana bread. I mean minutes. Late for school, nine weeks straight. Harold finally decided which delicious Eggo blue waffle bread. he wanted. Unfortunately, he wasn't alone. Eggo waffles and pancakes. Part of this good breakfast. Who's mean enough to steal all the Eggo waffles? <laughs> Introducing new Grinch Eggo waffles. In specially marked packages for a limited time only. I never get any privacy. Leave my room alone. Privacy problems. Get password journal from Girl Tech. No one can ever see this note. Do you really think it's safe in there? Girl Tech knows girls. I program my own password in my voice. Only my voice can open it. Privacy. Try the password. Girls rule. Access denied. Girls rule. Welcome back. They don't stand a chance. <laughs> password journal from Girl Tech. Privacy you control. Batteries not included. Hot wheels lead the way. What if a monster tornado was tearing up the streets? Tornado twister. The power charge would blast you high. You have to drive to survive. Tornado Twister. <laughs> He'll slam you around and smash you down. He'll chew you up and spit you right out. Come and get me. Hot Wheels lead the way. New Hot Wheels Tornado Twister set comes with two cars. Adult assembly required. Other cars and batteries not included. Faster than a speeding bullet. More powerful than a locomotive. You know the rest. Red, blue, yellow. Primary, but it works in a superhero-ish kind of way. The future of Metropolis is in the hands of the Man of Steel. Superman. Tonight at 6.30. Only to Bobby. Action! The big O now continues. Up there, 
That's where Instro is? More than likely. This house used to be Amadeus' old lab. His instrument. I am a tool to be used to activate my father's legacy. I... I was never a pianist! No, you're wrong! <gasps> Instro, just what do you think you're doing? So that's the phonosonic machine, huh? Hey, Instro! It's up to you now to carry out your late father's wishes. Your father's wishes? I learned that my father was a scientist who had been abandoned by Paradigm. He built this robot, Constance, for the purpose of seeking revenge. Therefore, they did away with him. Like I said before, once Amadeus was out of the picture, Paradigm cut off the cash flow. He was gone. Instro, it wasn't your father who was abandoned by Paradigm. It was the man who ended Amadeus' life. Isn't that right, Gisang? How dare you! Don't listen to a word he says, instrument. He's a filthy liar! Mr. Gisang, please put down the staff. I will carry out my father's wishes and yours as well. Huh? Farewell, Roger Smith. Instro, stop! Instro! Amadeus didn't create you to be some kind of activation device. He never thought of you as that. If he had, he wouldn't have made you so human! machine does. I have no reason to fight you. The only thing I desire is the annihilation of Paradigm. <laughs> now that's the legacy of a brilliant scientist.
That... that melody... Uh, Dorothy! Come out of there! That's not where you belong! Roger Smith, thank you. I'm grateful to you for destroying Constance. I didn't want to seek revenge on anyone. That never mattered to me. I'm disturbed and saddened by the fact that my father's legacy was a weapon. But Instro, you're Amadeus' legacy. You are a pianist. That changes nothing. Therefore... Ah. I shall never return to the piano again. You must. We're not finished with my lessons yet. Like I said, awakening in a serene atmosphere means a lot to me. In these past few days, I've roused in this blissful manner. Unfortunately, no one other than Amadeus could repair the intricate circuitry in Instro's fingers. But Instro has the memories of a pianist, and that's what's important. Thank you again, Roger Smith. The old me hadn't appreciated how utterly enjoyable it was to practice the piano. You were right. This is my father's true legacy.
best. that lake thought out once in the 15 years I've been up here. Not once, I tell you. Look at that, would you? What could be keeping the water that warm? Easy. 
You are Dr. Miller, aren't you? What do you want? Our master Galactor is waiting for you. Who's Galactor? You are ordered to follow us in and land as directed. You cannot escape, Dr. Miller. Your craft is too slow. Here, Dozer, take this home. Take it to Dr. Ben, Dozer. Go on! Dozer! Dozer! wants us to meet. Oh, my goodness. Get that thing away from me. Get it away. Oh, stop it, Kiwi. It's only a dog. Get it away. Get it away. Get it away. Dr. Brighthead. Lie down, Dozer. Is this the friend you wanted us to meet? That's right. Dozer here and I are old friends. Oh. Dozer belongs to a scientific colleague of mine, Dr. Barnaby Miller. Dr. Miller has been up in the Arctic researching a project on photoenergy. I thought Dozer was up there with him until he showed up at my home the other day with a camera in his mouth. Let me show you what was in the camera. This is Lake Moody in the Arctic. Dr. Miller was planning to use it for his photoenergy project. Photo energy is a new discovery ten times more powerful than nuclear energy. But Dr. Brighthead, why an Arctic lake? This lake remains frozen all year round, so the ice acts like a lens, concentrating the sun's rays down to be collected as energy. What a wonderful invention. It would have been a wonderful invention, but apparently Dr. Miller has suddenly disappeared. There's something else that's strange going on up there, and I'm wondering if they're not related. Lake Moody, which is normally frozen all year round, has suddenly thawed out. Are you implying, Dr. Brighthead, that there's something fishy going on up there? It might be a whole lot worse than that. We think that someone's trying to capitalize on Dr. Miller's research and turn it into something much more destructive than originally planned. And we all know who that someone is. Hmm. Galactor? Of course. This has to be the work of Galactor. Galactor! But it'll be dangerous. So what? That's never stopped us before. G-Force will return in a moment. This program brought to you by America's favorite chocolate milk, Nestle Nesquik. Look what's coming. It's Chicken Run on video. These chickens are learning to fly. They're gonna kill themselves. Wanna watch? Yeah, all right. Chicken Run. You can own one of the year's funniest movies. Rated G. Parents' idea of a great game? Your idea. Chuck E. Cheese's, a real cool place to be a kid. Parents don't have to get it, they just have to help get you there. We are having a supper party with Betty Spaghetti. Mix them at PJ. With Anna and Zoe. Bobby Slipper. Just like me. Ooh, gang. Beats that glow. Oh. New Betty Spaghetti Slumber Party from Ohio Art. Have you heard about Betty Spaghetti? It has been sighted throughout the land, spewing balls as it approaches. Goody Cootie catchers try to return their balls before Cootie Jitterbug flings them back. Who will defend your hometown? It's cootie catching time! New Cootie Jitterbug. You put Cootie together. Batteries not included. Power Rangers Lightspeed Rescue! The Super Train is on a 
attack Five cool cars that you transform Secret weapons right inside On their way to go airborne Power Rangers go! Change into land column mode New Omega Megazord Missile launcher in his hand Superpower you command Power Rangers Lightspeed Rescue Super Train and Deluxe Omega Megazords, each sold separately from Bandai. We found them! Rescue all kinds of pets with Barbie Pet Rescue CD-ROM. Lost little pets, <laughs> what you gonna do? Help get them out of trouble, Barbie and you. Lots of fun games, you're on the right track. Pet them and wash them. Pet Rescue CD-ROM for Windows 95 and above rated E. The last fry! Play up for it. <laughs> you better catch up! That was so funny I forgot to laugh. <laughs> Number one for the Ron Man! And two for me. McDonald's extremely goofy action figures take on ramps, curves, and the occasional order of fries. You can get one of eight characters from Disney's An Extremely Goofy Movie now on video with every Happy Meal. Did somebody say McDonald's? Bring pops and poppin', poppin' with play nerd, poppin' with fun. There's lots of fruit juice flavors. And you don't need a stick, cause it's the ring you can lick. So pop on a ring pop, ring pops and poppin'. Hey, Mom, what's cool? What's cool? Chuck E. Cheese's, the real cool place to be a kid, Mom. You can just ask them. Every night around the world, the children sleep, unaware of danger lurking in the shadows. But this night, a strange tune floats on the wind, and the children, one by one, begin to disappear. I wonder where she could be going. They are taken to a land of sweet memories, and used to power an evil that feeds on their dreams. My wonderful black dream hole is consuming dream energy from children. Now, it's up to Sailor Moon and the Sailor Soldiers to put an end to this nightmare. This time... They're gonna need a little help. Sailor Neptune! Sailor Moon Super S next Friday at 5 30. G Force! The amulet transforms Ace. G Force now continues. Making it the most feared weapon on Earth. I... I won't do it. You will do it if you want the human race to be spared. Why, I could destroy the entire planet now if I were to get angry enough. But if you cooperate, I might be persuaded to be merciful. I won't! Uh. 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 We have no other choice but to believe that Galactor has Dr. Miller in his custody. If that's true, then he might know about Dr. Miller's research and could very well be forcing him to develop it as a destructive force. Dr. Miller's a good friend of mine. I'd like to get him out of there. Don't worry. We'll rescue your friend, Dr. Brighthead. Be careful. I've already called up the Phoenix for you. Then let's go! Thank you. 
taking us in for a closer look. Hey, that's one of Galactor's boys. If we take the Phoenix in any closer, we'll give ourselves away. We'll have to leave it here. Good. We can use the snowmobiles Dr. Bright had loaded in the cargo section. Once we're on our way, Hootie, land the Phoenix someplace and cover it with snow. Sounds like a real swell time. Think you can show us the way in, Dozer? <coughs> the entrance to the base. Everyone get ready. allow myself to take part in your destructive scheme. Go right ahead and shoot. Watch the screen, Dr. Miller. You'll see some previews of our coming attractions. Tozer. In this scene, G-Force gallantly rushes to your rescue. No. Little do they know, however, of the trap that awaits them. <laughs> Look! <laughs> now let's find out how good a swimmer this dog is. Why, that was only a projected image. It's time that dog had a bath, don't you think? Oh! Them. Who'd imagine we could restart Dozer's brain as if we were jump-starting a car? I show full brain activity. Ah! Good dog, good dog. Nice, nice dog, nice dog. Good dog. What now? All right, you listen to me. That dog will tear you to pieces unless you do exactly as I say. All right, anything, anything. Ah. I'll give you exactly 30 seconds to open up these glass walls. If I did that, I'd be executed for sure. I'm sorry you feel that way. All right, Dozer. Wait, all right, I'll Hurry up it. then, 20 seconds. All right, I hear you. Ah. for testing your research on my pterodactyl. I am truly sorry, Ben Brighthead. Forgive me. 
Uh, particle beam generator reading online. Primary photo energy transmitter pod online. Photo energy receptor cells at full power reading 0700. Prepare for countdown at 15 seconds and counting. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Ah! Oh, yeah. oh, G-Force, after them! Dozer, gosh, I missed you, boy! Ah. Ah. They killed the lights! Don't let him get away! You idiot! I need Dr. Miller to operate the photoreactor. Now go after them immediately! Even though I was forced to work for Galactor, I felt as if I had sold out the entire human race. Dr. Miller, there's no reason for you to feel ashamed about anything, understand? Hey, look! Well, who invited those guys? Everyone get back to the Phoenix as fast as you can! It's about time. It's awfully boring around here. That's all about to change very quickly. You brought some action along with you? All right. It's too dangerous. I don't care. The system is all in place, and we only needed Dr. Miller to monitor the readings anyway. The test continues. Get back to your station where you belong. We'll all be killed. Kyla. He's insane. He's going.
going ahead with the test anyway. And without me there to monitor the system, Galactor could set off a chain reaction. Fire! force on earth that can stand up to that kind of power the system is overloaded master we must cut power immediately but it's too late a chain reaction has begun oh no now he's done it the fool has started a chain reaction in the pterodactyl that'll destroy everything in this area Booty, get us out of here Off the scale, Ace. We're finished. Come on, Hootie. Haven't you heard of the power of positive thinking? Oh! The pterodactyl dragon's gonna explode! Ah, oh, my dragon! Dr. Miller! Dr. Miller! <clears throat> what happened to Galactor? The pterodactyl? Are we all right? Everything's all right now, Dr. Miller. Galactor's underwater base has been destroyed. Oh. Hey, if we hadn't rescued Dr. Miller, there would have been no stopping Galactor. That's true. But if it weren't for somebody very special, there would have been no rescue at all. He was a good dog. Dozer was responsible for saving the entire human race. I'll never forget you, Dozer, not for as long as I live. So long, Dozer. We'll never forget you either. We all thought that Dozer was gone for good. How wrong we were. On, but it seems the intruder has eaten part of our mail containment unit. What? 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 Luckily, he survived. I'm the future! So innocent. Let's go now! Roger that.
So, anyway, let's go through this for the new fans. Here's the deal. Watch Toonami weekdays at 4, weeknights at midnight, and Saturday mornings at 10. That's fine with me! Get the address and send us a picture of your favorite Toonami character. Bring it on! End of each month, we put it on the air. You know, you're so lucky. It's that simple. I'm totally focused. I have to applaud your courage. Let's do it! Show me what you got! Couple rules, though. Only current Toonami characters. No pencil drawings. They don't show up well on TV. And no tracing. Cheaters. You have to trust in your own power. You draw the pictures, we make your dreams come true. What do big kids want? More jumps! More fastballs! More aces! More food! Big kids want to be treated like big kids. Hey, we hear you. That's why the Burger King Big Kids meal has more great tasting food, fun, and of course, a cool toy. Welcome to Reptar Lab! <laughs> now you can create your own Reptar Lab with fun action toys from Rugrats and Paris the movie, only in theaters. You can collect and connect all eight and build your own theme park. One comes in every Burger King Kids meal you buy. Taste rule. Coming at you right between the ears is Hit Clips. Music to get you grooving. Hit Clips is a slick micro audio system. This type package is small, it pumps out monster sound. It breaks down like this we clip, 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 and sample songs so only the grooves stick. It's gonna be made. Plus, with the micro boombox, load the mother load. Some of these songs available now. More this fall, you can collect them all. Hit Clips, each sold separately. The Powerpuff Girls Talking Action Dolls with eye laser action and super duper sounds. Blossom, Bubbles, and Buttercup. Those oh so sassy action dolls with super blazing laser beams and sounds. Bad guys, brace yourselves for a blackout. No villain can outlast their atomic laser blast. Townsville's in trouble. Time for action. Way to go, girls. You saved the day. Powerpuff Girls Talking Action Dolls. Each sold separately. This region's been barren for centuries. Yes, Peggy, it's a truly remarkable achievement. The Earth's first pollution-free city. Most big cities are real noisy, but it's so quiet here. Yeah, and there's no smog either. What's the secret, Dr. Brighthead? Those immense pipes transfer heat from the Earth's molten core to that power station, where it's transformed into electricity, providing a tremendous source of power without pollution. The entire city is connected to a mega computer which provides every convenience for the people who live there. Being located in the middle of the desert, don't they have to be awfully careful about how much water they use? No, Ace. Thanks to the latest advances in purification technology and a state-of-the-art automated recycling system, this entire community has a self-contained and renewable water supply. There seems to be a lot of traffic, Doctor, but I haven't seen any street signs or traffic signals. How do they get where they're going? The computer is able to pinpoint the location of each vehicle and choose the best route to the driver's destination. It automatically controls the movements of every car, monorail pod, and even the dinosaur floats in today's parade.
I am pleased to announce some wonderful news. The great and spectacular dinosaur show will open tomorrow. I am the world-renowned paleontologist, Dr. Mally Balooney. I am at your service, ladies and gentlemen. Mally Balooney? If he's a dinosaur expert, I'm a monkey's uncle. Dirk's probably right. The man's a fake. What's he up to? Now, boys and girls, watch carefully. I'm going to show you something special. Hey, whatever's going on over there looks like fun. I'll be right back, Ace. You know, sometimes I forget that Pee-wee's just a kid. You gotta let him enjoy things like this while he still can. Fine, Aggie, but meanwhile, we've got a job to do. Hey, wait for me, Ace. Step right up, boys and girls. I've got a free gift for each of you. I know how much you all love fireworks, and these are the brightest and prettiest fireworks you'll ever see. Oh, good! Give me some quick! Get out of the way! I want one, too! Get one for Jimmy, too! Oh, hey, me, too! <laughs> have as many as you like. <laughs> hey, what have you got under that bandage? Uh, nothing. I mean, I hurt my wrist in school yesterday. Sure, sure you did, Sonny. How silly of me. Here, have some fireworks. <laughs> Here, go have some fun. Wow. Thanks. I will. Honest. Thanks again, Dr. Mally Balooney. Bye. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that Pee Wee, what a character. I've ever seen so many stars. That's because the air is so clean here that there's nothing to block the starlight. Eventually, there will be a great many cities like this all over the Earth, if we can protect them from Galactor. If we could rid the world of pollution, everyone would lead a better life. Oh! What's Whoa. that? Galactor. Can be causing those explosions. We've got to get out there right away and find out what's going on, Dr. Brighthead. All right, G-Force. Get going. Roger! I've got you. Now tell me what happened. Di dinosaurs. What? What are you talking about? I must have misunderstood you. I thought you said dinosaurs, but that's impossible. They're real, I tell you. They attacked from out of the covered pavilion where that show was going to be held tomorrow. Ah, ah, ah. All right, let's begin the test. G-Force will return in a moment. works here. Says they serve Reese's for breakfast. I'm thinking candy. She says not candy. Reese's pop syrup. Before I can order, she delivers. That Reese's cup taste, filling my spoon, one bite, and I'm spinning in a rush of peanut butter and chocolatey taste. And Reese's pops is part of a good breakfast. I love them so much, I'll leave her a tip. <gasps> Reese's puffs. It's Reese's for breakfast. Pizza! Bagel bites. Bite-sized pizzas on wholesome little bagels. When pizza's on a bagel, you can eat pizza anytime. And now Bagel Bites, an official sponsor of the Winter X Games, wants to send you to this summer's X Games. Check out the grocery store. Log on to bagelbites.com for more info. Many will enter, few will win. Bagel Bites, bite into excitement. Nothing's bigger than the WCW, because we've got more power with WCW Power Slam Wrestlers. Power Slam Wrestlers are stronger and tougher, and nothing gets in their way. With spinning kicks, Goldberg Spear, Sting's Bat Attack, and Nash's Power Bomb, these giants of wrestling will knock the competition down to size. Are you ready to come with the big boys play? Then you're ready for WCW Power Slam Wrestlers. Just try to top us. WCW Power Slam Wrestlers, figures and rings sold separately. 
Remember them? They're all coming back to you. And when Papa Smurf hears about this, he... All the classics, all in one place, an all-new channel. Boomerang. Go to CartoonNetwork.com to find out more. Some people think voting is a waste of time, but I don't. I vote because I want a future where an anvil will fall on my head and it won't hurt. Voice the choice. Vote for your chance to win this incredible home theater system to track your candidate's performance. Look for the Cartoon Network 1-800 number or go to CartoonNetwork.com to vote online. It's the only way you'll be entered to win. I know that by voting, one day I'll be able to run through a wall and leave a perfect outlined shape of my body. Watch Vote and you could win in Cartoon Campaign 2000 tonight at 7 only on Cartoon Network. And now, a Fresh Prince moment. The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. Weekdays at 7.05 Eastern on the Superstation. The beautiful planet Earth. I shall perfect its beauty and then it will be all mine. <laughs> Junior high is almost over. It's life as usual for the Sailor Scouts. You have to start thinking about your high school entrance exam. But a young scientist and his mysterious discovery have opened the door to an endless winter. The Earth is turning into a frigid, snowy world, and soon it will be a part of my collection. Now, the Snow Princess has been released, and Tokyo is freezing. What is that? Only Sailor Moon and the Sailor Scouts can stop the cold forever. Take your time and let them suffer before you freeze them. Sailor Moon S. Next Friday at 5.30. Bring the love. I'm ready. Only Tsunami. Firebird mode. You are watching G-Force. I swore to protect my trans power bed with my life, and now it's gone! This is Galactor's doing. It must be. I'll bet you I know what did it. Those dinosaurs that we saw in the parade today. Don't be silly, Pee-wee. Those were just models. They weren't real. That's ridiculous, Pee-wee. Believe it or not, I think he's right, Dirk. Ace, you're hurt. Looks like you've been in an earthquake. 
Worse than that, I'm afraid. My trans power band is gone. <gasps> what happened? I was attacked in the pavilion where the dinosaur show is going to be and Ace. Huh? Of all the members of G-Force, you're the last one I'd expect to be so irresponsible. I expect more of you. You know what'll happen if the wrong person finds it? I can't believe it, Ace. It could have happened to any of us. Let him alone. He's feeling bad enough already. They're right, and you know it. I know nothing of the sort. Now stop worrying, Ace. We'll get it back, believe me. Ace, wait! Where are you going? I'm the one who lost it. I'll get it back. No, Ace, you mustn't. That's exactly what Galactor's waiting for. Without that trans power band, you could easily be captured and interrogated. Galactor must never learn the secret of G-Force. It's my responsibility to get it back. Please, Doctor, I beg you, please let me go! Hmm... If this is what I think it is, then this is my lucky day. It's one of those G-Force wristbands. Galacta will pay me handsomely for it. Now, whoever lost it will come looking for it, and once I capture him, Galactor will pay even more. <laughs> I'm sure Galactor will be pleased that the world's first pollution-free city is about to be destroyed. True, Maliva Looney. His greatest pleasure will come when he learns that you've destroyed its entire population. Soon, Doctor, the whole city's gonna burn down. All right, find their base. Leave the dinosaurs to Red Impulse. This is a priority one call. Put me through to Red Impulse immediately. As for you, Ace, you'll remain here. The rest of you, get moving on the double. Roger! This is Red Impulse. What seems to be the trouble, Doctor? Someone is using a group of giant model dinosaurs in an attempt to destroy the city. You've got to stop them. We're on our way. I hope you understand, Ace, that I'm not trying to punish you. It's just that without that trans power band, you're practically defenseless. You see... Ace? Yes, I should have known. show up? Huh? There are only three of you. The two others, tell me where they are. Gotta hide, fast. He's got to be around here somewhere. Spread out and keep your eyes open. Sorry to uh, disagree, but I think you should keep uh, them closed. <laughs> Keep your hands where I can see them. Take a closer look! Uh. 
Your distraction worked perfectly, Pee-wee. You sound like an entire army. You got here just in time. You followed me here, didn't you? Mm-hmm. I knew you'd try to find your trans power band again, and since you can't do much without it, I knew you'd need the help of an expert. Why, you... Mm -hmm. Hey, what's that cable for? Wait a minute. Pee-wee, that could be the cable for the automatic traffic control system. And that same system controls the dinosaurs. Wherever that cable leads is where they're being operated from. Why don't we just destroy it? That way the dinosaurs wouldn't be able to move. Then they'll know we're here. Let's find their base first and surprise them. And when we find their control room, I'll bet you we find your trans power band too. Tell me where the other two are and I'll spare you. Otherwise you'll all be destroyed. And I'll start with the little lady here. Hmm? What, what, what is that thing? It's Pee-wee. Good timing. Dr. Mally Balloony, what's going on here? Why do you have my friends tied up? Oh, that makes four of them. I know that there is one more, isn't there? Mm -hmm. No, there are 20 more in there. You have 10 seconds to surrender. It's Ace. I sure hope they don't call his bluff. <laughs> Very clever indeed, but I'm afraid it's not going to work. I happen to know that you're helpless without this. <laughs> oh no, what'll I do now? Isn't that one of the G-Force trans power bands? How did you get hold of it? Uh, it's mine. What does it matter how I got it? You know very well our Master Galactor wants it. I must bring it to him immediately. So you can take the credit? Not a chance. I am his representative, you fool. Give it to me at once. Hey, uh, let go of me. Not until you hand it over. Ready? Go! You'll get a kick out of this. Ever yeah. tried going downstairs without an elevator? No, it's mine, I tell you, mine! I must take it to Galactor and give it to me. I'll take it. Hey! It looks like Ace beat me to it. Yep. Boy, I'll bet you're really glad to get that back. You'd better believe it. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. Not what you've done, you fool. It's all your fault. Now, we're gonna go teach those guys a lesson, right, Ace? Dirk and the others can handle them, Pee-wee. We've gotta go and protect that power station from the dinosaurs. Right. Whee! You incompetent ah! fool! Oh. Go Birds, fire! Stop them! They're getting away! will punish you if they escape. Hurry up, you fool! Now, fire missiles! Pee-wee, we can handle them. Hold on! <laughs> Brilliant, if I do say so myself. My plan is working perfectly. And now, my master strategy. I am the world's greatest chess player. G-Force is doomed. Pee-wee? There's a magnetic force pulling us down. I'm trying to fight it, but it's too strong. If we have to land, I'll jump out and act as a decoy while you're getting away. What about you, Ace? Red Impulse here. You're on your own now, I'm afraid. If we fire any more missiles, we're in danger of destroying the very power station we're trying to protect. But I have no doubt that G-Force can handle it. Good luck. 
Thanks for your help, Red Impulse. We'll take it from here. G-Force Agent 1 out. Open her up, Pee-wee. Good luck, Ace. him just where I want him. Where'd he go? Oh. going to finish him. You've uh, had your chance. Now it's my turn. Oh, no, you don't. I'm the one who's in charge here, not you. Thanks, Pee-wee. For a minute there, I thought I was a goner. You don't have to thank me. Thank Dirk, Aggie, and Hootie for destroying the remote control system just in time. Gee, I wonder if Dirk and the others are all right. Ace? Dirk, <gasps> what's your situation? Are you all right? We're okay. Everything's under control. Did you get Maliva Looney? I'm afraid he won't be able to give us any information. He and Galactor's henchmen got caught in the explosion. Yep, I was afraid of that. It's time for me to go back and face Dr. Brighthead. I disobeyed a direct order by coming on this mission. Ace, any one of us would do the same thing. Dr. Brighthead will be proud of you. We all are, Ace. We wouldn't have succeeded on this mission if it weren't for you. Thanks, guys. Thanks a lot. Of course, we all know that I'm the one that really deserves the credit. Why, you? <laughs> way to get your kids to read is Sports Illustrated for Kids magazine. They'll love it. Sports Illustrated for Kids is a fun magazine. It's exciting, so they're excited to read it. Sports Illustrated for Kids inspires boys and girls to have fun while reading. I like the trivia math questions because it helps me on my math skills. SI for Kids is filled with a dazzling assortment of fun features that entertain and challenge kids while teaching important real-life lessons. Sportsmanship, self-esteem. It really helps the kids learn how to play the game. Call now and give your young sports fan 13 great issues for just four monthly installments of $7.49 each. Save 24% off the cover price. Use your credit card. Did my SI for Kids come today? Kids who love sports, love Sports Illustrated for Kids. Moms appreciate it, too. Cool. Call and give your kid the best kid magazine there is. Sports Illustrated for Kids. Thanks, Mom and Dad. The Seminoles are number one. Now, 
Sports Illustrated honors the undefeated Florida State Seminoles with three great gifts. It's a fantastic national championship package, free with your paid subscription. Start out with a special Sports Illustrated hardbound collector's issue, featuring stories and pictures from the national championship game. A great way to commemorate the Seminoles' spectacular season. It's gold leather and individually numbered. A cherished keepsake you'll treasure forever. Call now and you'll also get this special souvenir. Celebrating Florida State's national championship season. Both the special hardbound issue and souvenir hat are free when you order 54 issues of SI for only $1.47 an issue. Save 50% off the cover price. Use your credit card and you'll get another great gift. This Florida State national championship watch free. Celebrate the number one team in the nation with three great gifts from Sports Illustrated. Get into it. Hello? Bill, Jimmy Miller died. He left his wife and kids with a big mortgage, no savings, and no life insurance. Bill, do we have enough coverage? Chances are you can more than double your current term life insurance without paying one penny more in premiums. Just call Best Quote. We'll rush you a free, no obligation rate comparison containing quotes from five of the nation's top rated insurers. Right now, a 35-year-old non-smoking male can get a quarter of a million dollars of term life for about eleven ninety a month, guaranteed 10 years. If that's less than you're currently paying, simply call Best Quote at this number. Your free rate comparison will be prepared and rushed to you at once. Honey, it's Bill. I just heard from Best Quote. We can double my coverage and get coverage for you as well. Call Best Quote today at 1-800-441-2400. There's no obligation and no hassles. Simply the best insurance at the best rates from Best Quote. Call 1-800-441-2400. No salesperson will ever call you. The 1999 season has passed, and two competitors remain to battle for the title of champion in the Big Game 28, the Roadrunner versus Coyote. Join us for a marathon of past season Roadrunner and Coyote game films. Followed by Len Dawson, Chris Collinsworth, Nick Bonacotti, and Jerry Glanville. Live in the studio with special guests for the Slate Rock and Quarry pregame show. Then it's the Big Game 28 with John Madden and Pat Summerall calling the action. The Roadrunner, Wiley Coyote, who will claim victory? Tune in live to the Big Game 28, January 29th at 6.30 on Cartoon Network. The most treacherous and evil enemies of the galaxy met on a dark, uncharted planet to form a powerful Council of Doom, bowed to the complete and final destruction of Space Ghost. Vitalis, followed by Creature King, were the first to strike, but they were no match for Space Ghost and his power rays. <laughs> However, Zorak and Moltar sending out a false distress signal from Moltar's planet, managed to lure Space Ghost into a deadly trap in outer space. <laughs> space Ghost has entered our trap, now to blast him to cosmic dust. And I can't miss at this range. I've destroyed Space Ghost. <laughs> Not quite, Zorak. What? As you can see, I'm very much alive. But I blasted your ship into dust. When that distress signal came from Moltar's planet, I suspected a trap. So I teleprojected a ghost ship ahead. What you destroyed was merely an image. I'll get you yet, Space Ghost. Don't bother, Zorak. I'm coming down to get you. After I jettison, switch to Inviso power and stay clear of Zorak's ship. Right, Space Ghost. So, Space Ghost thinks he can get me. Well, the Space Hive will stop him. Activate it immediately. Yes, all right. 
Uh oh, what's that? A giant space hive. A magno ray. I've got to offset it with my thrust ray. I can't stop it. It's too powerful. That's right, Space Ghost. And once inside, my killer insects will finish you. <laughs> space Ghost has been pulled inside that space hive. Come on, Jan. We've got to help him. <laughs> And now, Space Ghost, your time has come. <laughs> Intruders! Well, they won't help Space Ghost this time. Hey! We're trapped! Yes. And finished for good. And I'm going to jettison you deep into outer space. <laughs> Look! A planet! We're going to crash! Look, Tom! A space capsule! And there's someone inside! Help us! We're trapped in here! <laughs> Don't worry! Moby Dick the Super Whale will get you out! Quick, Moby! Break open the space capsule! Now, quick! Into Moby's mouth! He'll take you to the surface! Thank you, Moby Dick. Come on, Jan, we've got to get back. And now, Space Ghost, meet your doom. <laughs> Space Ghost! Jace! Jan! Quick, activate my power band. Hurry, right, take Jan and Blip and get back to the ghost ship. Right, Space Ghost. I've got to blast out of here. And put an end to Zorak's space hive. Now to rejoin Jan and Jace. Well, Zorak? I put them in the cave, Moltar, and Space Ghost is on his way. Good. Now return to the Council of Doom. I will take over from here. No telling where they are. I'll use my Vizzo Penetron beam to find them. There they are, deep inside that mountain. I've got to get them out, and fast. Perfect! In a moment, we will have Space Ghost right where we want him. <laughs> Jan, Jace, are you all right? Space Ghost, go back! It's a trap! Too late, Space Ghost, and I've prepared a warm welcome for you. 300,000 degrees warm! <laughs> Is this to be the end of our heroes? Has Moltar succeeded where the others have failed? Stay tuned for the next exciting episode and find out. Tsunami Full Cycle will return in a moment. What are the secrets to raising cooperative, confident, and compassionate children? John Gray, whose record-breaking book, Men Are From Mars, Women Are From Venus, taught millions of men and women how to communicate with each other. Now, shares the answers with you in his new bestseller, Children Are From Heaven. 
In this exclusive television offer, you can order this information-filled four-part video series based on his exciting new book. You can't blame your children for being out of control. It's you who's lost control. Your Skyshark gift pack now, and you'll also receive free and easy-to-follow instructional video showing your family lots of fun tricks. These three great flyers are sure to be this year's perfect birthday or a holiday gift and come with a money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Call and order your Skyshark gift pack for someone you love today. To order your Skyshark gift pack, you must be 18 or older. Have your credit card ready and call 1-800-592-3388. It was the perfect end to the perfect season. Now, Sports Illustrated honors the undefeated Florida State Seminoles with three great gifts. Your gift is special hardbound edition of Sports Illustrated's Sugar Bowl issue and this Seminole National Championship hat, free with your paid subscription. Use your credit card and you'll also get this Florida State National Championship watch free. It's a fantastic national championship package celebrating your national champion, Florida State Seminoles. Start out with this hardbound collector's edition of Sports Illustrated's Sugar Bowl issue featuring extra coverage from the national championship game. It's a great way to commemorate the Seminoles' spectacular season with everything you ever wanted to know about Florida State's second national championship. SI special hardbound issue is gold-lettered and individually numbered, a cherished keepsake you'll treasure forever. Call now and you'll also get this distinctive souvenir hat celebrating Florida State's remarkable run to the national championship both the special hardbound issue and souvenir hat are free when you order 54 issues of sports illustrated including the spectacular swimsuit issue for only a dollar 47 an issue save 50 percent off the cover price use your credit card and you'll get another great gift this florida state national championship watch free don't miss this one-of-a-kind national championship package saluting a one-of-a-kind football team. Call now to get your Sports Illustrated hardbound Sugar Bowl commemorative issue. SI's exclusive collectible magnificently captures all the excitement of the national championship game. With added coverage of the Seminole's spectacular season, you'll get only with this special issue. Plus, you'll also get this Florida State National Championship hat and National Championship watch, all three free from Sports Illustrated. Celebrate the number one team in the nation with three great gifts from Sports Illustrated. Get into it. The 1999 season has passed, and two competitors remain to battle for the title of champion in the Big Game 28, the Roadrunner versus Coyote. Join us for a marathon of past season Roadrunner and Coyote game films, followed by Lynn Dawson, Chris Collinsworth, Nick Bonacotti, and Jerry Glanville for the Slate Rock and Corey pregame show. Then the Big Game with John Madden and Pat Summerall calling the action. It's the Big Game 28, January 29th at 6.30, only on Cartoon Network. Brought to you by Captain Crunch Cereal. You and the Captain make it happen. You can hear it in the park. At birthday parties. And in the car. It's Sugar Beats, the award-winning collection of pop songs from the 60s, 70s, and 80s, specially recorded for parents and kids of all ages. We listen to Sugar Beats all the time. Just a walking down the street singing. I can't believe these kids know the words to all these great songs. contains 30 of the greatest rock songs of all time, guaranteed to make you want to is not sold in stores. These are the songs that I grew up on, and now my kids love them too. Sugar Beats is the recipient of the prestigious Parents' Choice Honors. Fresh delivery available. Now when we're in the car, we can all agree on one tape. Sugar Beats. 
to order Sugar Beats, call the number on your screen or send check or money order. Two CDs, $19.99. Two cassettes, $15.99. Rush delivery available. This collection is not sold in stores. In not very long time, you make choice for president. Bizarro asks you to not vote Bizarro. Bizarro from Bizarro World, where everything backwards. Losing is winning. Help Bizarro win. Don't vote Bizarro. Paid for by the people not supporting their foreign support of Bizarro. Next time on Tuneheads, they'll have cartoons and factoids about the great American pastime. Batter up! Ah! Tuneheads, tonight at 9. Oh, that was clever. Weekdays at 3.30.
certainly smells good. Let's see if they're done. to mix. Mina, you put too much sugar in. Mm -hmm. You have to put it in gradually, then it won't be so hard. You guys are seriously not good <laughs> cooks. Oh, thanks. You're right, Lita. Hey, Mina, don't. There are hardly any chocolate chips left and we need all we have, so stop chowing down. But I can't stop eating them. Besides, someone should make sure they're fresh enough. She should be assigned to the cleanup crew instead. But Serena already checked the first half of the bag for freshness. Hey, what are you doing, Amy? <gasps> what a neat idea! Looks great, Amy! Where'd you learn to do that? That's really way cool! I learned it from my mom when I was little. Really? Your mom? Yes. She was always too busy with her career to stay home full time. But she tried her best to be there. Especially when we needed her the most. Like after school and lessons, boy, she must have been busy. But I remember, her cookies were the very best. They always seemed to cheer me up. Ah. Oh. Huh? Hmm. Three o'clock Monday. But it's Saturday today. Yeah, it's Saturday. Huh? Why did you say Monday? Ah, uh, yeah. It's just an old tradition. What kind of tradition? Tell us. It's no big deal, really. My mom always made cookies for us every Monday at 3 o'clock. She started doing that because she thought that Monday was always the worst day of the week. As long as we had finished our homework and all of our little chores on the weekend, we could always count on having fresh, warm cookies to look forward to after school. Each kind she made was delicious. She made enough to last the week, but 3 o'clock Monday was the best day because they were fresh. To this day, when I hear the clock strike 3 on Monday, I gotta have a cookie. What a nice tradition. Yeah, and because I liked baking so much, she handed the tradition over to me. It's funny how a simple thing like a cookie your mother made when you were little could cheer you right up. Sometimes I wish I was little again. Hmm. You're all lucky to have nice stories. I'm stuck with a meatball head mom from the future whose specialty is burnt anything, especially cookies. Oh, why well, you ungrateful little brat. I know just the kind of birthday cake to make you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was gross. It's nice to hear about childhood memories. Too bad cats don't bake cookies, but I have some good memories of chasing mice. Memories, memories. We should work towards future happiness. I see the future, and I know we'll be very happy on Valentine's Day once we can bite into our own chocolate. That must be true, because I saw just now when you did seem to be kind of happy when you were gobbling up those chocolate chips. Chocolate is amazing, Diana, and we're all going to learn how to make our own from Lita. When it comes to making chocolates and sweets, Lita's a super genius. You're exaggerating, Serena. Didn't you guys once say that eating a lot of chocolate can be very fattening, hmm? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> You're right. It's never too good to have too much of anything, but small amounts are okay. Lita, you know we can't follow your advice when all that chocolate's in front of us. We'll eat it all. You're right. Bet mine taste better too. Uh, big mouth. Maybe mine aren't fancy and don't look perfect. But the proof will be in the taste, and I challenge you to take a bite of one of yours first and then try one of mine. Well, now, I rise to your challenge. Huh? 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 Oh, brother. <laughs> Hey, you got to try Rini's cookies. They're fantastic. Mm -hmm. You're right. They are good. This just proves that things that look bad can be very sweet. You see? I told ya. You're so rotten to me. I'll bet if I gave some of my cookies to Darian, he'd love to. 
to eat them. Huh? It's obvious that my cookies are the best and I'll be the big winner. The big winner? Yeah, once Darian takes the cookies taste test, he's sure to choose mine. Huh? Looks normal enough. Where did his wings go? Hmm. 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 This is so weird. I know what I saw. Hey, nice kitty. What's her name? Her name is Diana. Well, nice to meet you, Diana. Hey, <laughs> stop it! You're tickling me! <laughs> ah. Hey, what are you doing here? Are you waiting for someone? I'm glad you like it, sweetie. I can't wait to open it up and buy some money. It looks so good. I'm just watching people go in and out of the candy store. They look happier when they come out of the store. Of course they do. Sweets cheer people up all the time. Yep, this looks like a nice town. All mothers seem to be so kind. I know of at least one exception. Huh? My mom isn't like that at all. She's a clumsy and careless crybaby. And she sometimes takes candy away from me so she can eat it herself. But that's okay, because I take candy from her stash when she's not around. <laughs> You're a sweet, interesting kid. Huh? I like it here. It really is a nice place to live. Even all the candies look happy. What do you mean? How do you know how candies feel? Look at them. They look so happy sitting in the window, they might even start to dance. Oh. Oh. I can't really tell if they're happy or not. They only look delicious to me. the door. At this restaurant, my job is to make sure that from the moment the customer comes in, they have the most amazing time. I can't have an off night because of sensitive skin. So when the last customer's gone, I wash the day away. Dove cloths for sensitive skin. One quarter moisturizer. No fragrances or irritants. Just gentle cleansing that's remarkably hydrating. I know how soft my skin is without even touching it. Mead Five Star is famous for tough, durable school supplies, which got us thinking, hey, why stop there? Introducing the Five Star Running Shoe, the Five Star Drum Set, the Five Star Catcher's Mitt, 
the five-star bike helmet. Maybe you should stick to school supplies. Okay, fine. Need five-star school supplies. Built strong to last long. Buy select five-star stuff and get a debit card that could be worth up to $1,000. This Friday, don't blink, don't move, don't miss the monkey. From the action choreographer of The Matrix and Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon, Iron Monkey, Reddit PG-13. Dr. Kravitz, let's lose that appendix. <laughs> Mother, I'm home! I gotta get out of here! Tsunami's got new Dragon Ball Z's. Royal fans wait no more! 43 episodes America's never seen before. Dragon Ball Z. Weeknights at 6. Nothing else matters. Nice to meet you. Cowboy Viva! Sunday's at 12 on Adult Swim. Yes. Courier service, bringing you a package filled with lots of love. <laughs> I know that disrespectful little blob is in here somewhere. Let me guess, you mean Rini. She's not even here today, Serena. Why are you so down on her? She's incredibly rude to me and has no respect. Oh, Darian. Oh. When did you... Huh? Buy this purple shirt. This shirt? I think it was with Rini on a recent shopping trip to the mall. Mm. Mm. Darian! Tell me something, and I want you to be totally honest. Who do you like better, me or that conniving little wretch, Rini? Huh? I need to know! <laughs> Tell me the truth! Who do you like better? What do you mean? So you can't answer me then? Oh, I knew it! He's always liked Rini better than me! I thought cookies were supposed to cheer him up, but my homemade cookies are doing the opposite. They're making me completely miserable. Hey, you brought cookies. Great, I'll make some cocoa. In the world today, there have been alarming reports of children mysteriously disappearing at night in various countries around the world. So far, reports from 43 cities in 27 countries, all with the same story, have not yet indicated any recoveries. No other information is available at this time, but we will be updating our reports mm. as new information comes in. For you. What are they? My homemade cookies. I know they don't look all that great. I suppose I get bad marks for the way they look, but the taste is amazing and they taste way better than my mom's horrible cardboard cookies. For me? Huh? Mm-hmm. <laughs>
I wonder where she could be going. Serena? Huh? Oh, hi, glad you're here. Look at Rini. She looks like a robot walking in her sleep. She's not the only one. Huh? Look, over there. Oh, what's happening? Looks like all the kids are being controlled by something and heading towards one place. Do you think it's possible they're playing some kind of new game? Not at all. I heard on the news today that there are lots of children mysteriously disappearing from many countries all over the world. Oh, no! That must be what's happening here. <gasps> hey, do you hear some sort of musical instrument playing a tune? An instrument? <gasps> The instrument's a pipe, and it's emitting strange energy while it's played. Well, let's follow them and see where it's coming from. Look at that! What do you think it is? Something sinister is happening. Anyway, we better stop all those children before they leave. Mm-hmm. Rini, come on! Let me go! Let me go! Rini, you must wake up! I guess I have no choice! Ow! What are you doing, Serena? Huh? Where are we? Huh? Don't you remember anything about tonight, Rini? Stop! Everybody go home! No! Don't go in no, there! No! You can't! Stop it! Go. Go we home. have to go to the land of sweets now! Wake up, everybody! <gasps> Your in-flight movie will return in a moment. We are pleased to inform you that you've been accepted to Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. It could happen. You might as well be prepared. For all your back-to-school needs, see the entire line of Harry Potter back-to-school products, each sold separately at major retailers everywhere. And for the first time ever, you can take a little magic back to school with you. Sonny's at the world's kookiest coaster. Oh, nothing's cookier than that. Oh, yeah? I bet you go cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs with just one bite. You're wrong. <laughs> We're cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. When you pack your puffs with a great taste of Hershey's, you get a chocolatey taste kids can't help but go cuckoo for. That's the one and only Cocoa Puffs, a chocolatey part of a good breakfast. <laughs> one bite. Oh! You can go cuckoo too. You are watching a scene from the special edition of Spy Kids. It's coming back to theaters with never-before-seen footage. It's a cave of sleeping sharks. I did a science project on this. Don't touch it. You might think you're an oversized guppy and gobble you up. Ah! Oh, that's not that. Spy Kids, special edition, ready PG. Only in theaters Wednesday, August 8th. turn milk almost as red as you. Farrell Newman? Now with Nabisco, you can win from five to five hundred dollars cash instantly to buy cool stuff. For details, see specially marked packages or send self-addressed envelope here. Millions will play, thousands will win. New Candy Blast Tips Ahoy! Whoa! Hold on! New Tips Ahoy Candy Blast are here! Your favorite Tips Ahoy chocolate chip cookies blasted with candy coated chocolate pieces! What a blast! New Candy Blast Tips Ahoy!
video and DVD. August 7th, the teachers and the kids unite. Bullseye! In the movie, critics call a delightful family film. Bingo. Disney's Recess, School's Out, rated G on video and Disney DVD, Tuesday, August 7th. Crayons and pencils, each sold separately. Get off the buoy! That's Lance, the lifeguard. He sees everything. But can he see why kids love cinnamon toast crunch? It's got, uh, tan lines? There's cinnamon sugar swirls in every bite. A tasty part of this balanced breakfast. I see that. Right. No running. Cinnamon toast crunch. Hey, chicken face! Now you can get a free CD-ROM featuring a classic game like Monopoly Junior or Yahtzee. In specially marked packages. Made an E for everyone. Don't miss Mia Hamm and the Washington Freedom battle for the playoffs when they take on Brianna Scurry and the Atlanta Beat. Atlanta at Washington, Saturday at 1.30. The WUSA on TNT. Every player a superhero. Can I help you? Tell us who you are! Tell me why you're interrupting this innocent procession to happiness. They've come of their own free will. Do you call the act of kidnapping children innocent? We won't let you get away with this, you psycho! <laughs> why can't things ever go smoothly, huh? <laughs> Candy wrappers! Ah! What is that? It's a candy! Huh? <laughs>
I've been waiting for you to ask. You're kidnapping children with your evil tunes. Children are our biggest treasures and we will never let you take them from us. On behalf of love. And on behalf of justice. I am Sailor Moon. And I am Sailor Mini Moon. And in the name of the moon, we shall punish you. We are also here to punish you. We're the Sailor Scouts. <laughs> Big deal. What's oh, going on? Huh? What is this? I wonder where that wonderful sweet smell is coming from. <gasps> from that house over there. Oh, look at that. It's a gingerbread house. Sailor Moon, be careful. Oh, no. What's happening to them? They're being fooled. They're seeing an illusion created by the sound of the pipe. <laughs> Don't bite into the donut, Sailor Moon. It's dangerous. Anu. Oh. Is anything wrong? I won't accept any delay in our plan. Yes, but Peru is trying to stop me from executing the plan. I'm trying to stop him because I don't agree with his methods. He's gathering children using violence. I'd be silent if I were you. No, I won't be silent at all. Fatty Anu, I can't trust in you anymore. Fatty Anu's intentions are good. She wants the children to have eternal happiness. I don't believe you at all. Well, it looks like you and this little girl know each other. Is it true, Beraru? No, she has nothing to do with me. Good, follow my orders. Badiano! You must bring that small girl together with the other children. Yes, of course. Ah! Badiano! <laughs> Okay, bye bye, babies, go! No, Popolan! Jupiter! Oh! Evolution! Mercury! Aqua Rhapsody!
enough. Okay, kid, tell us who you are! <sighs> Play a movie will return in a moment. Summer is here, CC Efforts, and our new Friday night lineup is hotter than ever. We'll kick things off at 7 with a whole hour of Dexter. Then it's a new premiere premiere at 8 of Powerpuff Girls at 8.30, Time Squad at 9, Ed, Ed and Eddie at 9.30, Courage the Cowardly Dog at 10, and Johnny Bravo at 10.30. So join us this summer every Friday night at 7 for Cartoon Cartoon Friday, only on Cartoon Network. Brought to you by Osmosis Jones from Warner Brothers Pictures in theaters August 10th. Osmosis Jones, he's one cell of a guy. The Romanos need Corky's help to stay out of jail. But the way Corky helps, it hurts. Really hurts. Ow, ow. Chris Kattan. Sorry. Corky Romano, rated PG-13. Start this Friday. I mean, why go to college? Have you thought about joining a cult? You know, you don't pay any taxes. Gross incompetence at work. Another side effect of hunger. We recommend Snickers. Packed with peanuts, caramel, and chocolate. Snickers, don't let hunger happen to you. Babies rejoice. And leaks, beware. Here comes the ultimate in care. Huggies Supreme Diapers. With the magic of the leak lock system. Draws wetness in. Locks it up. Helps stop leaks and have fun too. Huggies Supreme makes it all come true. Set it off today with the best in rock. Available and on sale now at Best Buy. P.O.D. Return with their new album, Satellite. And the slamming first single, Alive. Break the Cycle, featuring the hits It's Been a While. And Fade. Luke and Bart Hybrid Theory, featuring Crawling. And in the end. Set it off today with the best in rock, Stains, Lincoln Park, P.O.D. Available and on sale now at Best Buy. If you're like the average American household, you've got almost $8,000 in credit card debt. Did you know that at an 18% interest rate and making only minimum payments, it will take you 47 years to pay them off at this rate? Do you fear you will never get out of debt? Don't live in fear. Get help. Call Profina Debt Solutions, the nation's largest, most experienced nonprofit credit counseling service. Profina doesn't make loans. Instead, we work with over 50,000 creditors nationwide to lower your monthly payments. If you gather your bills and call one of Profina's credit counselors, within about 20 minutes, over the phone, we can help you avoid bankruptcy and get the collection calls to stop. Don't live in fear. Take charge of your credit and take back control of your life. There is help, and it's as close as your phone. Get your bills together and call Profina Debt Solutions. It's not a loan. It's a way out of debt. One cartoon cartoon summer? <laughs> Super! Let's go round up the others. Hey, feel like jabbing out? <laughs> You're on our way. Hello, boys. Hi, my children. How are my girls today? <laughs> okay, you three, settle down. Hello, you two. Hello, 
Come on in, Johnny. Oh, mama, my hair won't fit back here. <laughs> Settle down, everyone. Next up, Cartoon Cartoon Summer. Tune in to your favorite shows all summer long during Cartoon Cartoon Summer. Tonight at 7.30, only on Cartoon Network. Prepare for an intergalactic showdown with the most treacherous criminals in the universe. Coward! Keep in mind there's no reset button on this game. Aboard the Outlaw Star, Gene Starwood and his crew of bounty hunters take to the stars. Prepare for combat. Time to lay the cards on the table. Outlaw Star, today at 5.30. Wild West, Y2K style. Awful place. Who's in charge? <gasps> so it was you who led Peru astray. Strange. I feel mysterious energy. <gasps> How would you like to get into the dream box? You must be tired after your journey. Soon you will. This planet will eventually be absorbed into my black dream hole located in the center of this castle. My wonderful black dream hole is consuming dream energy from children. The more children there are, the larger the dream hole will be. Once it reaches a certain size, it will be large enough to swallow your silly planet. All the ridiculous people of Earth will end up living in one of my peaceful dream boxes. Ah, yes, a lovely little dream I've had for a long time. Get a grip on reality, lady. Your dream will always remain just a dream. It will never work with Earth. Oh? Why do you think that, little girl? I know it, because the Earth has Sailor Moon and the Sailor Scouts. <laughs> This storm is very strange looking. Darian seems to be okay, but he still needs to rest. Serena. Yes, Darian? Is Rini okay? <gasps> well, yes, she's okay. Um... <laughs> that spirited kid, she's always alright. <laughs> we really must get going now. Mm -hmm. I'm worried. Once someone is thrown into the black dream hole, it's impossible to save them. And I'm scared for Rini. What's the black dream hole? It's a place of eternal sleep. I wonder if he's leading us into a trap too. What do you think? We have no choice but to trust him. Hey, Rini must have given you those cookies. She did. <gasps> We're approaching now. 
We have to move into the clouds quickly. I would like all of the children to follow me to the dream world. And don't worry, everyone will be safe and happy in their own dream. Fairies, please assist me now. Gotta go now. See you again. Bye. Huh? Hurry! Are we almost there? Almost. Hey! I'm sensing some powerful sinister force here. But we can't see anything. There it is. That's the dream castle. All the kidnapped children are taken there. Looks pretty bad, guys. Still not too late to turn back. I'm surprised to see you, Peruru. Huh. Why did you bring those girls to the castle? To stop you and Batianu! Listen here! Let Rini and the others go! Rini, huh? But I don't think so. Batianu has a strong interest in her. Yes, she's the little <laughs> upstart who has ideal energy to add to the Black Dream Hole. <gasps> you can't do this! What have you become? Huh, <laughs> foolish boy. You should never have come back. You must be careful. They all have mysterious powers they'll use against us. Okay. Candy Rippers! Black energy in the dream hole is getting stronger, and so are we! There's no use. You must surrender! I'm afraid your puny little powers are no match! <gasps> oh, there's nowhere to go! Got reinforcements! How did you find our totally invisible and unknown castle in the middle of space? What a fool to think you can beat sailor power in my magic mirror! Submarine! Reflection! How'd she do that? Oh. I'll 
give it a try now. Mars Fleet Sniper! Why you? Listen here, you clown! What are you doing with the children? We, we, we just let them stay ch ch children forever here! What's the big deal? How can that be wrong? <laughs> stay children forever, huh? I think it's a silly idea. Life is full of wonderful experiences from the beginning to the end. <clears throat> My gondola seems okay. Let's get going. Yeah, let's find this black dream hole and end this nightmare. Sailor Moon, can we trust this boy? Yeah, he's okay. He's a friend of Rini's. Is that right? I hope I'm doing the right thing. I have a bad feeling about this. Point. You tell us where Rini and all the other children are. They are resting peacefully beneath you. Huh? <gasps> what? The children? Oh no! Set them all free right now, you evil sick cow! Such a foolish little boy. I'm merely trying to make all of your wonderful dreams come true, Heroon. In my dream world, everything is sweet and happy, the way life should be. No one can be truly happy here, not in this fake make-believe world. Hmm. I want to protect the world where children can grow up normally with family and friends, the way life's supposed to be! I suppose this fluffy-headed little girl gave you this idea, hmm? Hey, where am I? Oh. Hi, Sailor Moon! Sailor Moon... Oh, I'm glad she's okay. You're late! Sorry, kiddo! <gasps> Ah! Awkward 
turn to take over the world. I will not fail you, Father! Samurai Jack, I must return to my own time. Tonight at 7. Have you heard about Betty? Betty! Betty! Meet Betty Spaghetti. She's the one of a kind mix and match fashion doll that has everybody talking. Have you seen her style? Have you met her friend? Have you heard about Betty? Betty Spaghetti from Ohio Art. That's sold separately. Dolls don't move on their own. Biobugs, a revolution in evolution. Intelligent life forms that adapt to make any environment their own, including yours. Virtually unstoppable and spreading. Biobugs, each sold separately. Batteries not included. It's robot fighting time! Road Champs introduces Battle Pots! Griffin Grapplers let you control the action with real working weapons and exploding trigger points! Griffin Grapplers face off in the Battle Box Battle Box! Real working pulverizers! Real battle hazards! Battle Box has real battle sound! It's robot fighting time! Battle Pots action! Battle Pots crash! Battle Pots! BattleBots, BattleBots, and Griffin Grapplers are each sold separately. Some assembly required. <laughs> Airheads, they're out of control. Airheads, they're out of control. The Malaysian Prime Minister must be eliminated. The world needed a hero, but what it got was Derek Zoolander. When I was in seventh grade, I was a lunatic. You can read the minds. Please had a dumb team with mono. Whatever. Ben Stiller. Where have you been? I was at a day spa. Day. D A I Y E. Zoolander. They're breakdance fighting. Go to PG-13. Now playing in theaters everywhere. A young boy named Yugi and his friends are getting hooked on the hottest new game, Duel Monsters. Okay, Yugi. It's time to duel. Kaiba, Yugi's rival, arrives and takes things to a more serious level. After Yugi's grandpa is challenged by and then defeated by Kaiba, Yugi, I fail. The young boy summons the power of the Millennium Puzzle to exact his revenge. Join us for a special presentation of Yu-Gi-Oh! tonight at 7.30 on Cartoon Network. Now's the best time to join America Online. Plug it in and you go. Because now you can try AOL and get our best offer ever. 1,000 hours of AOL free for 45 days. You don't need a credit card. Call 1-877-265-0200 to get everything AOL offers. You've got mail. I've got mail. I love when an instant message pops up. Customer service is always there to help. To get online in minutes plus 1,000 free hours, call 1-877-265-0200. Operators are standing by. If we could do it, anyone can. America Online. So easy to use, no wonder it's number one. It's about time for the perfect 90s rock collection. It's non-stop 90s rock, packed with the hugest hits of the decade. You can't get this incredible collection in any store. Survive the 90s. Now take the best of it with you. You can order this collection online at musicspace.com. Don't be a slacker. Get non-stop 90s rock now. To order, call the number on your screen or log on to musicspace.com. Something is coming to Tulane. Lockdown, a week-long tsunami event where you are the story. See it on air. Play it online at tsunami.com. Starting Monday, September 17th at 5 p.m. Only on Cartoon Network. Now 
what childish thing you're doing. Our good emotional energy is able to move this gondola, and maybe we could break through her barrier. Smart thinking. Let's go! Your pathetic little gondola cannot possibly penetrate my barrier. Enough! Let's get together and help, Sailor Moon! <laughs> Girl's sugar energy. I'll never give her back. Hang on, No, they can't go into the black hole. They'll be killed for sure. The black dream hole is a part of me, and I'm a part of the dream hole. Oh. You are? Once all of this girl's special energy is consumed, I'll have enough sweet energy to swallow this planet of yours. No way! You can't do this! Serena? Why are you here? Darian, 
Can this really be your bedroom? Of course it is. My best friend since we... Darian, are you sure you're feeling all right? I'm feeling much better thanks to my Serena. <gasps> I'm so relieved. <gasps> Darian, I can't seem to wake Rini up at all. Don't worry. Rini? <sighs> Darian. She's okay now. Let her have a good sleep here. <laughs> She's probably having a nice peaceful dream. We shouldn't disturb her. We can live together in complete happiness without any problems at all and other people to bother us. But Darian, we can't possibly forget all the children and our friends. They're in danger. I really don't care about any other people, Serena. <gasps> I'll be happy as long as you're with me, Serena. Oh, Darian. Mm hmm? Say, who do you like better, me or Rini? And please, tell the truth, okay? You, of course. I love you the very best in the entire world, Serena. You're the only one I ever think about, and the only woman that I'll ever have in my life. Uh, Darian? Hmm? Even in a dream, you're just too good to be true. Uh, uh... Moon? Crisis? <laughs> you broke your dream box! Why do a fool thing like leave your happy dream? Sailor Moon, what are you doing? You must give up the little girl now! And then you can go back to your happy and peaceful dream. Otherwise, you'll end up losing everything only to live in an eternal nightmare. Think, think about this carefully. Think about yourself. If everyone only thought about themselves in their dreams, no one would ever be hurt. It's an uncomplicated, happy existence. I'm feeding the Black Dream Hole for all of you! Your in-flight movie will return in a moment. I must return to my own time. Friday at 7.
This program brought to you by the Harry Potter Trading Card Game. What'd you learn that? It's a simple spell. My remember all can take care of that spell. Here comes my mountain troll. Oh. <gasps> Improper use of magic. Not again. Maybe we should tell him it's just a game. The Harry Potter trading card game. Even the Ministry of Magic can't tell the difference. Keycharm Cuties, a whole new world. Ah! Keycharm Cuties are cool backpacks that magically turn into play sets. This backpack becomes a dance studio. Look at them dance. The boombox really works. Let's go. The Keycharm Cuties come in wallets, purses, and backpacks, each sold separately. There's never been a mixture as magical as Harry Potter and Lego. Welcome to a wondrous world where you can feel the magic building. The new Lego Harry Potter collection, each set sold separately. Goose. G O O Z E. How far can you stretch it? How shiny can you show it? How bright can you glow it? In the dark. Goose, each sold separately. Goose. Amazing fun puppies, you act like real puppies. What a handful. Baby, scratch your please give them to everybody. Listen, they're all scratching the needles. Twitch your pants with a friend, dizzy and glum. Twitch your dozen like scoops, so much really tough. How can they all sniff and see? Uh-oh. You can collect the whole litter. There's kitty too. Like little puppies and kitty. You're amazing. Pom puppies. Collectible pom puppies interact with each other, pom kitties, and you each sold separately. Batteries not included. I love you, Mom. That's funny. Think of my feet. I'm so thirsty, Mommy. Can you do that? Baby Go Boom, hilarious fun for kids of all ages from GC Toys. Big Speed Wrench. You want stunts? You got them. It's extreme RC power in your hands. You change the tires. You change the stunts. No rules. No boundaries. Hey, nobody tells this awesome machine what it can and can't do. Except you. Speed Wrench. The extreme Tyco machine. Only from Tyco. That's how you spell RC. TMH flex pack battery not included. If you're up for the Speed Wrench time challenge, it's only at TycoRC.com. Don't surf. Drive. Gotham City is a wasteland. Deep in its valleys of iron and steel, super guns wreak havoc. Who's up for some laugh? The only hope for the future is the new Batman on the block. Let's go! Batman Beyond, tonight at 6.30. Justice returns to Gotham. Only Tsunami. Something is coming to Toonami. And only you can save Tom and the Absolution. Lockdown. Watch Toonami all next week from 5 to 7. Log on to Toonami.com and play the online game. You can also register for your chance to win a Nintendo GameCube or other Nintendo prizes. Check it out. Ten lucky grand prize winners receive a Nintendo GameCube and six games. 150 second place winners score a Nintendo GameCube game. And 300 third place winners get other Nintendo goodies. Log on to Toonami.com 
and play the game all next week for your chance to win. Be sure to get all the on-air codes. Hook up the game even more. Good luck. mother made when you were little could cheer you right up. Memories, memories. We should work towards future happiness. To this very day, when I hear the clock strike three on Monday, I gotta have a cookie. I see the future and I know we'll be very happy on Valentine's Day. <sighs> I need to devour your planet. No! Well, I'll destroy you both then, you foolish girl.
I'd like you to have this pipe. Are you leaving? Mm -mm. Not really. Because I'm a dream elf who protects children while they're sleeping, you can be sure I'll always be with you in your dreams, Rainy. And you'll always be in my dreams. <sighs> Miss you, Rini. I'll never forget you. Ah, uh, thank you for the cookies. Say hi to Diana for me. Overway, representing the best in Japanese animation. Every now and then you want a game you don't have to think about. ATV Off-Road Fury gets the job done. No backstory. Sit on an ATV and ride, ride, ride. The physics of this game are really good. Just like real racing, without all pain. Toonami gives ATV Off-Road Fury for the PS2. 8 out of 10. Eat dirt. Now your child can visit steamy jungles, grassy plains, and the dark depths of the oceans to meet and learn surprising facts about the magnificent animals that live there, all through the captivating, colorful pages of Zoo Books, the publication especially created for young readers. Each monthly issue of Zoo Books is packed with breathtaking full-color photos and scientifically accurate illustrations, plus games and puzzles. Today, through this exclusive TV offer, you can get 12 fascinating issues of Zoo Books for the special price of $19.95. When you call and use your credit card, we'll include the elephant's issue as a gift. Plus, you'll also get the colorful collection of animal stickers and the tiger poster. So order Zoo Books today and send learning and fun to a child you love. To order 12 fascinating issues of Zoo Books for $19.95, call 1-800-441-2400. When you call, we'll include the bonus elephant issue stickers and tiger poster with your order. Call 1-800-441-2400. You must be 18 years or older to call. This holiday season, the Rugrats are going to Paris yeah! for a family vacation. Yeah! Give me that cake right now! Yeah! Rugrats in Paris, the movie. Somebody needs a nap. Ready G, now playing. Commando Bot, release Miss. Commando Bot is the ultimate voice recognition robot. Now he programs Commando Bot in the spy mode. Tommy is so cute. <laughs> Tommy is so cute. Commando Bot, ultimate voice recognition robot, responds to 36 action commands, includes everything shown here. From Disney's 102 Dalmatians. Find my spots, Oddball. <laughs> You'll get spots someday, Oddball. And we'll help you. Look, she is getting spots. Find my spots, Oddball. Spots appear with ice water filled brush. Put the pieces into the slot. Make the right selection. But be quick, you're racing the clock. Wow! Wow! Goes perfection. Perfection's the race to beat the clock. If you're not quick, wow! Wow! Goes perfection. Wow! 
What if we had the power lock car super speed? Blast the cars at super speed, super lock ya. It's big and bad, has the trigger I need. Engine scream, aim up, launch em. go rapid fire. Doing hot stunts anytime. A super big, super launcher. Blasting tons of cars fast is what it's all about. Hot Wheels leading the way. New Hot Wheels Super Launcher. Adult seven required. Additional launchers, cars, accessories, and batteries not included. You're all done! Get ready for a tsunami special event. The Garlic Jr. Saga. An all-new Dragon Ball Z miniseries. Saturday at 10 a.m. Get your little on. Only tsunami. In the deepest reaches of space. An unstoppable terror lies in wait. And only you can save Tom and the Absolution. Lockdown, a week-long tsunami event where you are the story. See it on air, play it online at Tsunami.com. All next week, 5 to 7 p.m. Only on Cartoon Network. So, we meet again. Stop right where you are! Our only chance is to throw our combined solar power. I have created a perfect warrior. We're trapped in some kind of force field. Oh, my pets, and spread terror throughout the planet. Why have you brought us here? This battle begins. Your Highness, the galaxy is in chaos. At your service. <laughs> the baby needs a spanking. In our last episode, the Council of Doom watched eagerly as Space Ghost and the twins were sealed in one of Moltar's mighty ovens. I've prepared a warm welcome for you, Space Ghost. 300,000 degrees warm. <laughs> You forget, Moltar. My power bands are equipped with a freeze field. Stand by to power up. I'm going to blast our way out of here. You may have escaped my molten oven, Space Ghost, but you'll never escape my molten fire rockets. <laughs> Back. I'll take care of those birds. I'll have to break their formation with my scatter ray. And now to finish them with my destructo ray. I'm going in after him. Turn on your invisible power and stay clear. Roger, Space Ghost. All right, Moltar, I'm coming in. Well, my central thermal robot should give me just what I need to stop him. <laughs> Get the ones who travel with Space Ghost. I don't know, Jen, but I'm sure glad they can't see us. They don't have to see us. Their sensors can detect us. Let's jet out of here. <laughs> good, good. They can't escape. Stand back from that control panel, Moltar. Don't be too hasty, Space Ghost. Take a look at my viewer. Jan, Jace. Yes, Space Ghost. And if you don't surrender, they will be blown into heat vapors. All right. What do you intend to do with me, Moltar? You are going to take a long trip, Space Ghost. Take Space Ghost. 
Space Ghost to the planet Amzot. And remember, Space Ghost, if my ship is not back within the hour, your friends are finished. I'll remember, Moltar. A strange ship is landing, Xandor. Yes, Dorno. I think we should find out what brought them to Amzot. Why have you come here? And why are you holding that man prisoner? Run, or these molten creatures will destroy you. We must save that man. Tundro, use your energy rocks. Higgle, get the other one. Quickly, Zuck! Thank you, Sandor, and thanks to your animals, the Herculoids. But I must hurry back. Good luck, Space Ghost. I can dispose of my hostages anyway. <laughs> Jace, they're going to fire! Jan! Jace, quick! Jab up! Now, let's see if Moltar can stand a little of my heat. I'm boiling over! I've got to escape! Fool! Space Ghost has escaped once more! Maybe so, Spider Woman. But it is I who will try next. And my arsenal of rays will destroy him for good! <laughs> We should reach the ghost ship soon, kids. Yeah, and it won't be too soon for Blip. He's tired. Look, a space cyclone. That's right, space ghost. And I control it. Is this to be the final fate of our heroes, destroyed by Brock's deadly cyclone? Watch next exciting episode and find out. Lockdown, only Tsunami. Maybe somebody broke down. Why aren't they using a normal shipping code? Don't know. 
Head to the observation deck. Okay. Fire up the docks. Be right there. The docks? I don't think there's any danger. Oh, no. I went out last time, remember? Better say I'm sorry. Understood. Uh, Okay, what have you got? Oh, what is that? No idea. There's too much interference. We'll have to get closer for any solar movements. Don't know if I like that idea. Look at those ships, they look derelict. Can we get closer to the one broadcasting the distress signal? Hold on. Here. That guy might not even still be in there. Tell you what, take us down to a slow coast into the field. Get the shields up and keep scanning. We're sending the docks to that ship. You're just looking for an excuse to play with your new toys. <laughs> you got me there. Prep the boys for lunch. Tom, I've got something. Look at the trajectory of all these craft. All of this debris is slowly moving towards that giant ship. What's the deal with that thing? I thought the system was deserted. Why would all this be way out here? Sarah, full reverse. I'll meet you on the bridge. Just do it! Sarah. Force engine is offline. That thing has us in the tractor beam. We're being pulled in. It's blocking all live frequency broadcasts. Oh man. What about the show? We're still broadcasting. The frequency is modular. I can adjust faster than that thing can block it. But it takes so much energy, we can't broadcast anywhere else. So no distress signal. What about the docks? You designed them to interface on wideband frequencies only. So we can't reach them. What is it with our luck? How long before we get sucked in by this thing? A long time. Roughly 178 years, 17 days, 10 hours, and 12 minutes from now. Roughly, huh? Roughly. Oh, so I guess that means these ships have been trapped here for 100 years, too. Very high probability. It wouldn't be a problem for us if we didn't need power. But we'll go down. Soon. Maybe not. I got an idea. Crazy. It's just my work. What if someone on Earth logged onto our systems and controlled the docks remotely? Interesting. Perhaps. If I petition more power to the receivers, yes, it may work. But why aren't the docks being sucked in by that thing as well? Who knows? Who cares? We know they can move. Let's not waste any more time. Okay, here we go. In the deepest reaches of space, an unstoppable terror lies in wait. And only you can save Tom and the Absolution. Lockdown, a week-long tsunami event where you are the story. See it on air, play it online at Toonami.com. All this week, 5 to 7 p.m. Only on Cartoon Network. Lunchables just moseyed into town, and it's ready to blow the old lunch bag away. Oh, get him, Nacho! Lunchables Tacos and Nachos. The real fiesta of fixings for making your own tacos and nachos. And there's no need to heat them. Lunchables Tacos and Nachos. Make fun of lunch. Thanks, dude. New lick a color. As you lick, they change colors. The colors, Duke. The colors. I'm colorblind, kid. Popsicle. Hello. <laughs> From good humor. Welcome to the future. Transferring to autopilot mode. A place where good guys finish last. Oh. I'll make them wish they'd never been born. A quick draw. Oh. Is the 
best defense. Nothing personal, but I'm here to kill you. And your wits are all you can count on. A future where one treasure is coveted above all else. Tell me the coins of the Galactic Leyline. Legend speaks of the Galactic Leyline, offering the ultimate power of the universe to those who seek its glory. The doors have opened. Utilizing the latest technology, a living starship has been built with the power to find the Galactic Leyline. By twist of fate, it has fallen into the hands of an outlaw. An outlaw named Gene Starwin. Well, let's blow some hot kisses to my devoted fans. His luck is about to change. Goodbye, ah! Gene. Oh! Together with his crew of bounty hunters, he'll take to the stars. Accelerate and fly down their throat. Let's go! Outlaw Star. Weekdays at 5.30. Time to roll the dice. All play to mommy. Let's go! Uh, hey there. Sorry to interrupt you guys, but we're in a jam and we need your help. We have to check out this ship and need volunteers to remote pilot the docks. We've rigged it so you guys can help out. When you get a chance, go to Tsunami.com and follow the instructions. Man, I'd really appreciate it. Your first mission, get inside this thing. You have an entry point here. Get in there and let me know what you find out, okay? Okay, back to your regularly scheduled program. In contrast to the National Space Forces, there exists the private security forces. Over centuries, humanity's territory expanded rapidly. And as various interstellar states and countries were formed, the space forces were founded to provide equal protection for all. However, in the vastness of space, not all colonies had access to its full protection and resources. This gave rise to the private security forces, run by private enterprises. The security forces are comprised of security companies and top transportation businessmen. They protect developing planets and interplanetary trading companies from pirate and various kinds of random trouble. However, the enormous contractual and upkeep expenses are a source of trouble for low-income territories on the open frontier. Showing no activity. Victory is confirmed. Oh, what a complete waste of ammunition. And we just set out. Man! This guy doesn't look like a K-Pirate or a Bond Pirate. They're probably part of a larger group that uses this area as an operations base. Hmm, let's have a little fun. Anchors 1 and 2 locked. I'm gonna make them pay us back for all the ammo that we used. Not to mention raid their galley for all of the trouble they caused us. <laughs> Now. Hey, we're the good guys, and don't you forget it. Our income's a little unstable, that's all. Consider this overtime. Hold on, Gene. Huh? Three ships are closing in quickly from behind the satellite to aft. Uh, what, do they have more friends? It doesn't look that way. Now enlarging. You two ships there, hold it. What? This is a patrol ship string four, currently guarding this area to the hate bomb system. Disarm yourselves and surrender your vessel at once. Hey, it's a security forces warship. <laughs> Pirate ship, huh? Huh. <laughs> Man, these public servants sure like to peg you right off the bat, don't they? Now locking down. Ugh. You morons! Attention, Outlaw Star! Your crew is to disarm immediately and proceed to the designated deck on level two. Uh, you'll be okay, Gilliam? Don't worry about me, Gene. I'll be waiting right here. Hey, pal, if it's all the same to you, I'd rather be talking to that lady over there. 
Wipe that grin off your face. Whatever you're thinking, forget about it. We're not a bunch of suckers on this station. Okay, next. Huh, this place is bizarre. Gene, this is strange. What is it? I took the liberty of going through the data we took from the pirate ship's AI a while ago. It's pretty fragmented, but I was able to determine that their operation time sequence is clearly set to this space station. Really? To this station? So, what does that mean? I'm not sure, but they're planning... something. Body check's complete. All right, come on! This way, you pirate scum! And hop to it! I'm telling you, we're not pirates. Yeah, that's what they all say. Right. Yeah, whatever, buddy. I guess men and women are handled separately. I wish they'd give us some coffee or something. Gene Starwin. That's one impressive ship for an innocent civilian with no ulterior motives. My father was an interplanetary trader who insisted on only the best. It was one of his ships. She's registered out of Blue Heaven. I told you it's legit. A simple trader with a grappler ship? What do you say we cut the crap right now? Shut your trap! I run a legitimate business and I don't need approval from you. Blast it! You're that guy from the patrol ship, aren't you? Try saying that to my face. Very well. I hope I don't alarm you. Huh? What is this? What's with the lizard suit? I prefer you call me Dews. I'm the tactical officer for the Security Service Force, better known as Angel Lynx. He's a Saurian. I've never seen one before. They were created through genetic engineering. You're kidding me. Genetics? You mean this guy's from the Jurassic period? Huh? My name is Valeria, his colleague. We're really members of a special security service that have been selected out of the Erasion system. We've been stationed here as part of our security duties. I was just doing a routine reconnaissance when I happened to come across you and that other ship in the middle of a fight. I'll admit that you caught me there with my guard down. But let's discuss that later. You were there. You saw the other wreckage, didn't you? Those guys are the pirates. We're the good guys who took them down, Valeria. You should be thanking us instead. Yep, that's right. Hmm. Starwind. I see you're the young outlaw who's been making a name for himself in Haifong lately. I've seen a video of you and your spaceship in action. Well, what'd you think of it? Easy there. Let's just chill out now, okay? So what's a guy like you doing in this part of space, just cruising around? What if I told you that I'm out on a treasure hunt? I tell you you're looking too hard. The sector's crawling with pirates looking for treasure all the time. You really think that you're going to be the lucky one to find it this time? I've been known to get lucky from time to time. Besides, I'm up to my ears in debt. From my experience, your grappler ship has equipment that's on par with a pirate ship. Seems to me you should have come up with something big by now. Hmm. I don't care how much he prattles on about being an outlaw. He's just a degenerate mammal punk. My guess is that he was smuggling something all along. That's crap. I knew I'd be treated unfairly by you security people, but I never thought I'd be accused of being a pirate by some fascist lizard. Ah! Oh. Oh. You okay? Dudes! Oh. oh, nice shot. Next time it won't be just a love tap, space boy. I don't let anybody get away with bad-mouthing us. And I don't let cheap shots slide by either, pal. Come on. That's enough, dudes. You better watch it. What are ah. you doing, Gene? Calm <clears throat> down! <clears throat> People who call themselves outlaws are nothing more than lowly criminals to me. Dudes! Do a background check if you want. And then you should spend some more time on worrying about the real pirates you caught and not us. Oh yeah? What are you talking about? I'm saying that they came in here because they're planning on attacking your fleet. Ha! Huh. With just one ship? They'll be up against the heavily guarded naval port. And what brings you to that conclusion? While we were engaged in the fight with the pirate, our navigator was able to retrieve some files from their AI. How could he find pirates' files? I was under the impression they were all deleted. Even if it is true, it doesn't let you off the hook. We can still detain you as long as we want. My, how noble of you. Aren't you the very model of an officer of law and order? I pride myself on it. Dues, wait. Just to be on the safe side, don't you think we should interrogate those other pirates? Fine, as you wish. But I want Starwind's ship disarmed at once. And then I want it inspected thoroughly. Yes, sir. I've always heard that Saurians are reptilian dimwits. You heard wrong. I come from a <gasps> proud race of people with a warrior's pride. We believe in loyalty and honor. But I guess that's something the criminals like you wouldn't understand. Oh, this is taking forever. Get in there! Gene, your face! It's all right. Don't worry about it. So what's going to happen to me now, Miss Officer? You want to rough me up a little? Sorry to disappoint you, but we'll have to detain you for a while. It's an emergency. Don't take it personally. Well, I do. 
I want all of you to see this. See what? It's a civilian ship that'll be docking soon. It's called the Midsummer Night's Queen. And this was caused by a pirate ambush? Yes. By the time we received her SOS, it was too late. They destroyed everyone? There are only 128 survivors. 10% of her passengers. Jean! Who the heck did this? What a mess. Does this remind you of the incident with your father five years ago? <sighs> hmm. That's some background. You even have old news articles on file. Our job is to guard the frontier and all of the surrounding areas. We make sure to keep thorough records on all cases from espionage to petty smuggling. I just can't stand pirates. Neither can we. Hmm. They seem to be from the same pirate group we fought earlier. Very observant. About some things. On the frontier, you tend to develop a sixth sense about danger. These pirates are notorious around the frontier region. They've sometimes even tried to make a move on us. They look down on us because we're security. You see? Then you should at least go over those files. It's just a file on their operation timetable, but you can retrieve the data from our ship if you want. I'll give it some consideration. I'll also consider the fact that you people are possible security risks. You're one shrewd lady. Not that much different from the lizard. Hmm. The Midsummer Night's Queen is now docking. All sections, take your stations at once. I'll see you later then. Attention berthing crews. Prepare temporary berth number five. Be advised that the vessel's hull has considerable damage. Use extra caution when attaching cables. Rescue Team Titan, please stand by for deployment. Retrieve all civilians from the ship, giving special priority to the wounded. Valeria, about those people from that red pirate ship. They're small fries, right? We're not going to make anything off of them. There's more to the private security forces than money, if that's what you're saying. Did I say that? I need your signature here. Receiving message. Can you include this in your report on the next ferry for Oracion? Roger. What about the other ship? Dues, I'll have a little chat with them. It's okay, they'll be talking soon enough. This is more important. The pathway is clear. You can let her in. You better get started with that second check. What's going on? Temporary bay five. Prepare to pressurize. Gangplank connection complete. Prepare to retrieve all civilians at once. Please, everyone, remain calm. Let the wounded off first. The area's off limits. It's a secure military installation. Hey, we're hungry in here. Give me a bacon and egg sandwich on wheat. I'll have a cheeseburger with fries. I'll have the blue plate special. And broiled eel with some miso soup on the side. Yeah, and I'll have an egg drop soup to start. Shoot. Darn lizard man. Trying to break us by starving us to death stinks. <sighs> We're powerless against a military industrial complex like this, Gene. I'm not ready to give up. Just you wait. Give me a chance and I'll take him down a notch or two. Ah! Hey, what was that? What the heck's going on? What's the matter? You can't run off. I'm not finished playing with you yet. Outlaw Star will return in a moment. Can anyone make a good reboot of an old game? I thought maybe. So I checked out Spy Hunter for the PS2. All the stuff from 83 is in there. Machine guns, missiles, smoke screens. One fat ride. 14 levels give the game enough depth to keep it occupied. It's a little short, but for a while there, it's a lot of fun. Toonami gives Spy Hunter 7 out of 10. The old school's in session. They are America's dreamers. Builders. Leaders. They are the future of America's companies and communities. They are students, teachers, machinists, programmers. But we're more. We're more. One weekend a month, two weeks, weeks a year. year. We're the men and women of the U.S. Army Reserve. We're proud of what we're proud of what we do. And who we are. You can join us in the Army Reserve. As a full-time citizen serving part-time, you can train in one of over 200 career fields, learn high-tech skills, and earn over $50,000 toward a college degree while you're still in college if you qualify. Serve part-time. Feel a pride that's full-time. 
Can you see yourself? This could be you. Call this number for more information. You'll receive a free brochure in the mail. There's no obligation. No matter where you are in your life, the Reserve can help you do better in life. Call now or log on to GoArmyReserve.com. No tears, no tangles, just great looking hair. Clean up. We'll go to Chuck E. Cheese's. Chuck E. Cheese's. A real cool place to be a kid. What do you do to deserve it? Well, good cool fun. everything about them. That's why your children will love zoo books. This exciting magazine for children will bring the most wonderful animals into your home. Animals that do the most amazing things. Your children will meet incredible new animals and read fascinating new facts about them. Just think 12 big zoo books that will show your kids hundreds of amazing animals, many that they've never seen before. Call this toll-free number now. You'll receive a full year of zoo books. Plus, this stunning tiger poster and animal stickers to put anywhere. And you'll even get this extra elephants issue absolutely free. Call now and start zoo books coming to your children today. To order, have your credit card ready and call 1-800-441-2400. That's 1-800-441-2400. Acceleration has dropped to approximately 70%. And now, back to Outlaw Star. Multiple explosions in central dock. Partial damage to ships. Is this some kind of pirate trap? Come in, control room. The civilians are all armed. Ah! No, it's a disaster. The pirates have landed and infiltrated the ship's main room. All hands report to stations immediately. It may be a naval station, but they're helpless if they're attacked from the inside. They really thought this through. Freeze! I knew you people were working with them the whole time. Whoa, take it easy there, guys. We're not the pirates. We're the good yeah. Oh, yeah, nice move. Yeah! Let's not waste any time. If this doesn't let up, we'll all be trapped. Enemy spotted on range four. What? One carrier and three grappler ships are closing in. Turrets 7, 9, and 11 are failing to respond. All dock hatches are entirely inoperable. This is strength 4. Where is Deuce? Why can't you reach him? Okay, fine. Then I'll go. Not again. The pressure's okay on the other side. So is the gravity. Aisha, you're on. Leave it to me, guys. Oh, no. Man, this looks bad. Hmm? What's that? Look! It's the dino guy with the security forces! Oh, man. Poor old guy. Namu Amiputsu, Namu Amiputsu. I... I'm not dead yet. Help me out of this. Ah, oh. He's alive! What should we do? You're trying to escape now, aren't you, you dirty criminals? Let me remind you dudes that we're just plain civilians. We're supposed to be evacuated first in case of an emergency. What did you wretched outlaws do to your guards? Huh? Hey, what are you doing now? How generous of you. Well, thank you. Let's do it! Uh, hold your butt out of there! Okay. Uh, 
Why did you save me? Eh, it was just my pride. Your pride, huh? What would you know about pride? A beautiful woman once told me that there are three powers in space that I will confront. What three powers? First, the pirates, the military, and of course, the outlaws. Hey, come back here. See you later. It's been a lot of fun. As long as we can use our missiles, if we don't get rid of that civilian ship, we'll be wiped out. It's no use. We'll have to clear all the debris out of the way first. I thought soldiers were good at improvising. Valeria! Dudes, are you all right? I'm sorry, it seems I was careless. Can you make your way up here? Isn't terrorism your field of expertise? Affirmative. That red-haired outlaw is on his way there right now. Be careful. Gene Starwind? Who the heck are you? Oh, no! Oh. That's one way to get him to pipe down. Suzuka, the ship is this way. Back so soon. Gilliam, what's the status? They said I was to be disarmed, so all live rounds of ammunition have been removed. The only usable firearm left is in the blaster. How very thoughtful of them. Uh, can you move? My propulsion systems are intact, but with that steel frame on me... Well, come on. You have arms you can use, don't you? Let's do it. It appears the Red Pirate Ship has started up. Gene Starwind, are you there? What are you doing? Take a guess. We're skipping out of here. What do you think, lady? While you're busy firefighting, we're getting out of here. No, I'm afraid I can't do that, guys. What are you planning on doing, then? Work teams, don't just sit there. Let's get that frame cleared out of the way. Oh, gee, you're helping us? Why are you doing this? I guess I just don't have the guts to live my life as a wanted man. I figured it was more important to lend a hand to those work teams over there. It's the least I could do. I appreciate it. Well, Mr. Starwind, do you think you can buy us enough time to get us out of here? Now that's something else entirely. Are you offering this outlaw some kind of job, Miss Military? All right, a job then. But I'll be expecting more from an outlaw. <laughs> Give us your data on the enemy. We'll find some way to show our appreciation later. Valeria! You're setting that low-life outlaw free to do as he pleases? Prepare to launch! And don't waste any time! Shoot, I scraped the new paint job. Grappler ship incoming! Do not mess with me! All inertial controllers to full! Let's go! Assault anchors on continuous control! Okay! Those things aren't cheap, you know. Number three locked. Yes, we got them! Taking control of enemy computer. How's this? Uh, multiple missiles incoming. From both sides at once. Can you dodge them? I can't dodge them all. 20% of them will impact. Come up with something. You got it. Give me a sec. All yours. I just sabotaged their mainframe computer by remote control. You're a genius, Jim! Way to go, buddy. I couldn't have done it without Malfina. Two enemy ships coming in. Only two anchors left, isn't that right? Launching numbers five and six. We're going in! Yeah, eat this! Your power's about the same, huh? Oh, the other ship's coming in now. I think we're in trouble, Gene. Be careful, Gene. I'm being accessed by the enemy ship's main computer. Uh, 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 hey, what the... Looks like we made it just in time. It's that lizard. Gene, it's okay. Let us be the ones to handle the carrier, all right? Hey, boy, you said something about there being three powers that exist in space. All right, then. Step aside, and I'll show you what the might of the military's power looks like. All ships, commence your barrage! Now that's impressive. 
What's the matter, boy? Need me to finish the job for you, too? Huh. Watch me. We've returned the ammunition we've confiscated. So all that's left now is your job fee. You'll take Dragonite, I hope. That'll do just fine. Thanks a lot. One more thing. What do you mean, one more thing? Have you heard anything about the military's involvement in the core systems developing a grappler ship called XGP? Just wondering. Hmm. Hmm. Why don't you just drop it, Valeria? We didn't uncover any counterfeit registry data. Part of our information was scrambled because of those pirates we ran into. That's why I'm asking you to just leave it at that, understand? Hmm. Okay, I see. Well, it seems that this is a pride issue, isn't it? All right, you're forgiven. You've saved face. Okay, we're out of here. You're free to go now. Hunting for treasure is not a crime. I hope your dreams are always as big as your heart, Jean. Thanks, Valeria. Remember, I owe you one. You've been given your filthy Dragonite. Now leave. But if I ever catch you committing a crime again, I'll take you down before you know what hit you. Well, I'll keep that in mind. Bon voyage, Jean, and the crew of the Outlaw Star. Stay strong and true to your dreams. Let's go, Outlaw Star. Are online being controlled by the users. Word. Guess I'll go take a look at the reactor. Keep me posted. Lockdown will continue in a moment. Alrighty, hosting this week's CCF, it's I don't believe it. Dexter, really? That's what the clipboard says. Tell everyone what's gonna be on. This week's Cartoon Friday. Cartoon Cartoon Friday. Cartoon Cartoon Friday. Where you'll see a brand new courage. The Cowardly Cow. Cowardly Dog. Cowardly Dog. And they have news about ship in the sick city. Sick city. Join Dexter this Friday at 7 for Cartoon Cartoon Friday. Only on Cartoon Network. It's a Maggie. Let me mess what? up. What did I do? How's it look? Not too good. It blew when we tried to reverse and shorted out everything on this floor. It's gonna be a while. Hmm. How are the docks? Well, they made it inside the ship. As best they can tell from the feeds, it's some sort of trash compactor. What's it doing way out here? I haven't figured that out yet. From what the docks have relayed, all the equipment is in disarray. The hole blown in the side appears very old as well. So somebody tried to take it out. 
and failed. The docks are still scanning. We've uncovered some useful information. Do you want to take a look? Just tell me, I gotta work on this. Point one, that ship is fully automated with no onboard AI. It's on autopilot. Point two, the tractor beam is close to the docks. If they can get to it, they may be able to knock it out. Point three, I've located and will upload the location of additional weapons and tools to the users. They can use these to take care of the tractor beam. Oh, that sounds nice. I got the door open. Okay, well I got enough power to reboot the system. After that, I don't know. I'm gonna have to get batteries down here to run this thing while I work on it. Have them shut down that tractor beam. Thank you for your assistance. The battle is going well. Here is an additional code that will upgrade your dogs. Good luck. Jim Hawking. Jim to his friends. Age, 11. Height, 140 centimeters. Weight, 32 kilograms. Blood type, A. A boy genius. He is the son of a renowned hacker known as the computer wizard. The cautious type. Jim is Gene Starwind's polar opposite. Jim always carries a computer with him and diligently keeps a close eye on profitable information and enemy movement. He is a quick thinker, yet he is also very outgoing in his actions. Jim displays many precocious traits which are anything but childlike. Although occasionally victimized and tormented by Gene's inability to plan ahead, Jim has not abandoned him. And judging by the way he manages Gene, Jim clearly looks up to him. Well, that's understandable. Anyway, I'm totally the kind of guy needed around here to keep Gene's bachelor lifestyle from crashing down around his ears. Hey, stop making things up. Well, that's my cue to leave. I would also like to ask that you not disturb my job. <laughs> right. right. We are navigating under uncommonly safe conditions. There is no unusual activity to report outside or inside the ship. Estimated time of arrival at transmit station Simca 5, 30 minutes. <laughs> An uneventful trip might be a bit of welcome relief to you guys, but it sure doesn't leave much excitement for a live wire like me, you know. It could just be a simple matter of one coincidence after another, but this is a weird crew we collected. <laughs> hey, I heard that, Jim. A child barely out of diapers like you shouldn't be insulting a woman who's mature and worldly. Mm, you heard me? You better believe it. The best ears in the whole universe are those of the Katarl Katarl. You won't forget that, right? No way. Now that's a good boy, Jim. Yeah, I think I'm just beginning to understand what it really means to upset you Katarl Katarls. I wouldn't want to do that. Mm -hmm. That's a sure sign of you becoming a young man. Right, whatever you say. Jim and Aisha get along so well, it's as though they're really family. Hmm? Family? Mmm, this tea is delicious. I've detected a ship in the proximity, and it's rapidly approaching us. I've made several attempts to hail it, but it is not responding to our signals. An enemy ship! Why didn't you spot it earlier? I can only surmise that the craft is utilizing some method to evade my sensor system. Or in other words, you're simply without a clue, right? Unfortunately. Uh-oh, uh Gene, that ship's almost on our butt! Go to grappler combat mode. Receiving a signal from the other ship. Put it through. Eugene Starwind of the Outlaw Star. Nothing personal, but I'm here to destroy you. It's an enemy ship. Could that be one of our old pirate buddies out there? Probably. The ship's in firing range now, Mr. Popular. Well, let's blow some hot kisses to my devoted fan. Launch your missile! It's a decoy! Well, 
Well, moron, if it's a grappler fight you're itching for, then you sure came to the right guy. This punk's not so darn tough. What the... Finish him off. What the heck's going on? Warning, pressure levels are rising throughout the ship. If they continue to escalate, remaining in combat mode is not advised. Yeah, I know that. But these guys are just too quick and hard to outmaneuver. The fighting capabilities of the Outlaw Star aren't cut out for this. There is one chance. If I can only find an opening. Jim, on my signal, I want you to give him everything we got. One last resort coming up. Last resort? was too close. So your last resort was to run away? What cowards! Hey, you're alive, aren't you? Gee, I'd appreciate a little more gratitude here. If you consider that we survived, then we really haven't lost. Oh, you two. Well, you certainly make a good team. Well, Melfina, thanks, but it's no big deal, you know. <laughs> Somehow, it doesn't seem to me like being called a team with Gene is so great. Is that right, James? What's that supposed to mean? Huh? What do you mean? Seems you and I need to have a little chat about a few things. Oh, no, we don't. Yes, we do. Ladies and gentlemen, we will be arriving at Simca 5 momentarily. Well, should we go see about repairs and weaponry? Yeah. Hey, where's Suzuka? Suzu mentioned that she was gonna take a nap. Yeah, she has a lot of difficulty working as a team. <laughs> right, maybe, but she's not the only one. Well, ah, I don't know about hey. you guys, but I'm gonna go find some fun. Another one who just can't work as a team. Yeah, like you're one to talk, Gene. <laughs> yeah, whatever. You're kidding. You want me to fix everything and get your weapons on a budget like this? We were hoping we could work on a deal of some kind. If you can do some of the labor yourselves, I can give you a discount. What do we do? Like we have a choice. Go ahead and start on the repairs for now. Mister, don't cut any corners either. We can tell you're good just by looking at the equipment you've got. Okay then, fill out the paperwork and I'll jump right on it. All right, thanks. <laughs> that other ship might be here on this station too. Then shouldn't we look for it? Nah. If they come at us, I'll take them down. Oh, pretty sure of yourself, aren't you? Or maybe you're just lazy. Say what? <laughs> you know what I'm saying. We've got to remember to keep our guard up. Right, Jane? Yeah. Oh, and one more thing. I'm going to go out and party. <laughs> A couple of drinks will help me unwind. I'm not kidding, Jane. I'm really worried about you. Come on, lighten up, partner. I need to have a little fun. Uh Suit yourself! Melfina, would you please tag along with this idiot here and keep him out of trouble? Huh? Sure. What? Yeah, what? Wait a minute. I was talking about going out alone. Bang! What did I do to deserve this? Do you want anything else? Oh, this dessert is plenty for me. Thank you. Yep, that's great. Glad to hear it, Melfina. <sighs> doing everything around here. It's rough, isn't it, Jim? Hey, thanks a lot, Gillian. You know you're the only one who ever notices how much I bust my butt? I have the combat data on the enemy vessel. Without a strategy, we're not going to beat that other ship. Gene never plans ahead. He makes it up as he goes. But this time, it's all up to me. Shall I brew a pot of coffee for you? Sure, sounds great. morning. Perhaps you should take a break. Man, I'm exhausted, but I can't go to bed yet. Guess a breath of fresh air might do me good. Hmm? What? Huh. 
Wow, you don't see many cats on space stations. <clears throat> hey, come here, little kitty. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's a good kitty cat. <laughs> oh, there you go. Boy, you guys really like that, huh? Oh. Hey, wait a minute, guys. Don't you want to play some more? Huh? Hmm. Here, kitty, 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 kitty. Oh. Hi. Are those your kitty cats? They are. Why do you want to know? Uh, uh, no reason, just wondering. Just wondering? Um, maybe I was just trying to talk to you. Is that all right? Why? Do you like me or something? Uh, no, I didn't mean it like that. Well, maybe I do. Hmm? So, do you live here on the station? Oh, no. Just passing through on a trip. Hmm. So you're traveling with your cats? Yeah, this is Mata and Kemi. So what's your name? Oh, sorry. My name's Hanmio. My name's Jim Hawking. I'm on a trip, too. I just stopped off here at the station for a while. Hmm? Oh, wow. Then it's fate. Huh? Don't you see? We were supposed to meet. What are the chances that uh, both our ships would stop here? It was fate, Jim. Fate? Yeah, I guess so. Well, I have to go back and feed the kitties now. Mm, uh, well, can you come back again this afternoon? Okay. Great, I'll meet you here at one o'clock. Well then, see you later. <laughs> Bye. Hmm. living and non-living entities. Outlaw Star will return in a moment. Ah, what's this that's making such a splash? Tropical Gushers. Lots of cool island flavors that are a real bunch in the face. And fruity combos that are very freaky. Each bursting with a splash of fruity juice. So many exotic flavors. Can you handle them all? Tropical Gushers. Taste the blast. Once upon a time, Gwyneth the Goose, Byron the Bunny, and Empress Wu the Puppy all lived together in a lovely garden. One day, the lady gardener said, Would you like to make all the babies really happy? Baby Gustings? Baby Bunnies? No, Baby Babies. Introducing Martha Stewart's Everyday Baby Baby Bed and Bath Collection. What a cutie. Shh, don't wake the baby. Exclusively at Kmart. You gotta skate them, trade them, but don't underestimate them. Built fast, built to last, but look that power pack. Tech trick orders. No step to kick, lift, alleys, yeah, real slick. Power glides, lift, slides, going strong, going long. Tech trick orders. Pull their tails, it never fails! Come on. What's the mystery of those cereals? The new taste of Waffle Crisp? The Cookie Farm of Oreo O's? The Honey Crunch taste of Golden Crisp? No! It's Scooby-Doo and Shaggy! Now an Oreo O's, Waffle Crisp, and Golden Crisp! Part of a good breakfast! Scooby-Dooby-Doo! Now you can help Scooby find out who's haunting Monstrous Mansion with this free poster and decoder lens from Post! Look, another clue! I know who it is. One Scooby-Doo mystery poster and decoder free in each bark box of these post cereals. And see how to vote for your favorite Cartoon Network character. Aquaman talks tough about values. 
Buy one, get one free. That's uh, most countries, those with capitalism, have those kind. The values. Aquaman for values, for discounted merchandise, and that's good enough for cartoons. Zex Marquis, the Lightning Baron wears the mask of shame. Can he redeem himself and save the universe? Wars truly are heartless indeed. Gundam Wing, starting Monday, suit up. Sunday, March 12th, see the only award show where the biggest stars of TV and film celebrate their favorite stars. Wow. This is so great. Thank you very much. The 6th Annual Screen Actors Guild Awards. See it Sunday, March 12th at 8 on TNT. In the election, I'm going to vote for Top Cat. Bugs Bunny. Sylvester the Cat. Tom and Jerry. Powerpuff Girls. The time has come for your voice to be heard by voting in Cartoon Campaign 2000. Tune into Cartoon Network for complete, in-depth coverage of your favorite candidates, their platforms, and their cartoons. But most importantly, tune in to vote your candidate for president. Josie and the Pussycats. Cow and Chicken. Batman. Vote in Cartoon Campaign 2000 starting Sunday at 7. Jim, more coffee? Yeah, thanks. So where's Jean? Still sleeping. He ate an awful lot of food yesterday. Mm. Sounds like Jean. What does? Hmm. Good morning, sunshine. Nah. There's an inspirational image. Okay, hurry up and eat now. We've got a busy day. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> How's it coming, mister? Doing just fine, considering I'm not making any profit on this job, but it's a great ship. I've never seen this model out here on the frontier before. Nice one, huh? Yeah, she's a real beauty. Good work. Keep it up. Leave it to me. Hey there. How's it coming along? Look, I know that we're cutting back on costs. However, you could offer a little bit of help with the workload here. This isn't a run-of-the-mill fix-it job. What the heck's the big idea? You're making me change out the arm's wiring on this thing, and that's a lot of work. Look, Gene Starwin, don't you hear that voice deep inside of you telling you to work harder in order to pay for that meal tab you racked up yesterday? <laughs> yes, I was so wrong. What was I thinking? Please, Master James, what more can this unworthy servant do for you? Well, if you were on a first date, what kind of present would you bring? What's wrong? Has my little Jimmy discovered girls? <laughs> All right. This is your first step toward being a man, so feel free to ask the pro anything you want. Oh, forget it! I'm an idiot to ask advice of a lech like you! Not all guys have one thing on their mind, sleazeball! Hey, watch it, you little runt! Now you're really ticking me off! You're dirty, slimy, and scummy! That's oh, it! Come no, here! Now you're I'm gonna not get... Not you're out of the afternoon! Oh. Hi, Mio. That's right. <laughs> um, here. You brought me flowers? <laughs> wow! <laughs> uh. That is so nice. <laughs> the x-axis checks out normal. There's less damage than I thought. Good news, isn't it? Yeah, the Outlaw Star is one of a kind. It really is a fine ship. Huh? Huh? What is it? What's wrong? Uh, what do you mean? There's nothing wrong. Gene. I said it's oh. nothing! Am I... in the way? No, of course you're not. God, it's not that at all! We need you here, Melfina. All right. Please pardon the interruption, but a video mail transmission has just been received from Fred Lowe. Play it. Gene, my old friend, how are you and your merry troop doing out there at your end of the universe? These messages are expensive, so I'll keep it short. I have news about an interesting place that's related to the galactic ley line. I mailed the details to Jim in an encoded file. Well, good luck. Take care of yourselves now. End of message. We'll have to check out the place. Things sure are beginning to liven up around here. I can already smell the treasure. Let's get going. Don't you ever knock. Ow! That was fun, huh? Yeah. 
Hey, do you think we could meet again tomorrow? Oh, yes. We can meet right here the same time we met today. Okay, then I'll be here. Me too. <laughs> Jim? Yeah? Thanks for the flowers. I've never gotten any before. You're welcome. See ya. Bye-bye. do is disable their ship and get rid of Jean Starwind. Okay, okay. The outlaw star hasn't launched yet. Hanmio, I wish you hadn't made another date like that. You should have discussed it with me first. And me as well. Well, I'm sorry, but this is fate. Don't worry about it. I will finish the job. All systems green. All right, people. Let's launch. What's wrong, Jim? You seem kind of down in the dumps. Oh, right. I forgot. How'd your big date turn out? It went just great, as if it's any of your beeswax. So back off. Now let's get out of here. I'm sorry, Hanmyo. I can't make it. Alert. A solitary vessel is closing in on our ship from astern. What's he up to? Oh, he's taking his time, just like a feline toying with a mouse. Looks like he's trying to mess around with us. Well, then we're just gonna have to show him what a mouse can do when it gets cornered. Jim, what course of action would you recommend? There's more than one way to skin a cat, as the saying goes. What a vile saying! Don't take it personally, Aisha. Going to grappler combat mode. Roger. Finish him off quick. I have an appointment to keep. Focus. Relax. I am relaxed. Don't worry. I can sense the power. It's coming now. Is this really going to work? I don't know. But if we do it the same as last time, we'll lose. Yeah, probably. Gilliam, cut all external monitors except this one and stand by to activate. Gene, you concentrate on piloting. I'll back you up without your instructions. The arms response has been increased to 150%. Asia, Suzuka, they're all yours. Hey, this is easy. It's just like a game. Yeah, well, keep in mind there's no reset button on this game. This system can only remain operational for one minute. Keep alert and be careful, everyone. And good luck to you. Let's all pull together the way a team should. If anybody can do it, we can. Gosh, I feel like crying. Let's do it. I'm beginning to get the hang of it now. Get him? A dead ship. The Tororata won't respond. Kemi, Mata. Yeah! Although the adversary is defeated, we sustained extensive damage as well. Then we have no choice. 
We'll have to return to Simca 5 for more repair. Now what about cash? Don't sweat it. We'll figure out something. What are you so happy about? Me? Uh, no reason. <laughs> Kataro Kataro without any problems. That isn't true. A delicate flower such as I has her share of concerns. Like what? Well, um, I get hungry. Oh, you call that a concern? Give me a break. Well then, okay, what would you call a problem? The big stuff, like what do people exist for? What's in my heart? Who am I? That's what. You need a life. You just don't get it. Let's do this. Sarah, we're back online. It's a little sketchy, but it works. Where to next? You're off to the machine room. We fried the conduits in there. On my way. How are the docks doing? Well, Group A is closest to the next section of the ship. The client sent useful information, though. They're close to the factory, but it's heavily guarded. I'm sending another coded message with some things that may help. Good. Man, wish I could help out. Oh, man. Any progress on that signal? Not yet. I've narrowed the time frame down to around 2,000 years ago. It has elements common of codes from back then. That is old. I'll translate it soon. In the meantime, I'll tell the users about the next mission. Tell them I said hi. Thank you for your assistance. The battle is going well. Here is an additional code that will upgrade your docks. Good luck. Parents' idea of a great game? Your idea. Chuck E. Cheese's, a real cool place to be a kid. Parents don't have to get it, 
They just have to help get you there. It has been sighted throughout the land, spewing balls as it approaches. Cootie Jitterbug! Cootie catchers try to return their balls before Cootie Jitterbug flings them back. Who will defend your hometown? It's cootie catching time! New Cootie Jitterbug. You put Cootie together. Batteries not included. <laughs> New scribblers! Crayon shaped pops! Guess who? Bust it again, kid! Popsicle! <laughs> On the road of life, second chances are rare. Watch out, kid! But for Yusuke Unameshi, fate has intervened. This is weird. You have all that's required to be detective of the spirit world. That's a fancy title. Between the world of the living and the realm of the dead, he is both champion and protector. <laughs> Yu Yu Hakusho, tonight at 6. Now die. Only Tsunami. What are the chances of a demon being a total wuss? For a detective, you don't know much. You have caused me pain. I do not like that. That's it. In case you didn't know, I happen to be a spirit detective. There he goes! The ice apparition Yukina, Ie's sister, is imprisoned by the greedy human crime lord, Gonzu Turukane. Yusuke's spirit detective team has entered Turukane's stronghold and defeated three infamous demons known as the Triad. Now, only one obstacle stands in the way of rescuing Yukina and closing the detective case, the mysterious Toguro Brothers. <laughs> So I guess this is the big finish. I can't wait! Hey! Toguro! Don't blow this! <laughs> Poor Torukane. He is going to have a conniption before this is finished. Can't blame him. It's not often that your whole financial future is bet on one match. Sixty-six trillion dollars. The losers gotta sell everything from their cufflink to their organs. Imagine that on your but Sakio doesn't seem to mind, do you? <laughs> hey, who are those people? They're watching us risk our lives like it's funny. It's awful. Have faith, Yukina. I'm gonna be with you soon. <laughs> if we get tired, please allow us to tap out. <laughs> Don't listen, Yurameshi. I got a feeling these guys are up to something. No joke. Do you need a back rub, Kawenma, sir? You seem tense. Yusuke can beat them, right? Well, probably not. <laughs> but then, I've only seen them fight once, and that was many years ago. But judging from their spirit energy, we shouldn't worry. They're weaklings. No, wait. I can't really explain it. My whole body's getting this weird vibe. It's like there's something big in here. I don't feel nothing. Ready, brother? What's that little guy doing? I bet he's really popular at parties. You see, my brother's able to transform the shape of his body. It's nothing, really. He just turned into a, a, a sword! This is my brother's specialty. And mine... <sighs> My spirit energy surrounds my brother and makes him indestructible. 
you see the Taguros truly fight as one. Photon, step back! I'll try. Managed to step back just enough to avoid a fatal blow. I'm surprised you had enough intellect to do that. But you won't have to scrape along the floor much longer. Come now, brother. Let's send him to Spirit World. Uh... Maybe I didn't make myself clear! Shotgun! That was fun. Yes, you must think quite low of us, brother. As if we can't deflect a little energy. Darn it! Guess there's only one good way to stop him. I hear Headless is in this year. What the? I don't believe this. He turns into a shield too? <laughs> Did I forget to tell you? My brother makes an excellent defensive weapon. Regardless. I was only being a professional. Though I was hoping you'd provide me much more entertainment than this! They're helpless. Uh. Oh no! <laughs> Those Taguros are invincible! I can already smell my new money coming in! <laughs> so, how are you gonna pay me the trillion, Sakyo? Cash or credit? <laughs> I've got to do something! <laughs> They're not gonna make it, are they? You're certain it's them, the brothers? I'd never forget that face. Yusuke is not ready for them. Well, of course he isn't. No one is. Now why hasn't he a shown up? Not that he can put a dent in the Tagore brothers either. Where are you going? I don't belong here. 
Voyeurism has never been my strength. Excuse me. I wonder where he's going, sir. Over to Darukin A's stronghold, idiot! Oh. Can he get there in time to save Yusuke? At this point, that might be impossible. I just hope he can save the human crooks from here. Playful, and when they get out, they go fast. Watch out! New Lifesavers Minis in Mixed Fruit and Peppermint. The next big thing from Lifesavers. Power up! Mega Man is so tight. The graphics are so cool. It just has everything that a good game could have. He's got like a blaster. He goes. He go like this. Do all that. I have grown up with Mega Man. Any gamer that knows games knows Mega Man. Nobody can beat Mega Man. Mega Man, Mega Man, Mega Man. I love Mega Man. Happy anniversary, Mega Man. <laughs> Three brand new Mega Man games available now. Rated B for everyone. Only from Capcom. Hello. You've got to get over here. He's here. Got a reason to get up? New Clearasil Ice Wash is an icy blast of refreshment, and nothing bites at me better. Hey. I didn't know you were going to be here. New Clearasil Ice Wash. Clear skin. You won't believe what Pizza Hut's got for you now. Hey, here's your pizza. With all dogs go to heaven too. Dog meets dog, dog loses dog. I give it two paws up. I concur. The DVD is yours to keep when you buy a large Pizza Hut pizza at regular price. Choose from four, count them four, comedy classics and spend the night in Ha Ha Land. <laughs> wow, Mr. Mom with Martin Mull. Whatever happened to that guy? He got hungry. Pizza Hut pizza and a DVD on us. You only get it when you gather around the good stuff. Excuse me, Varky. What time's the next water show? Someone should put a sign up or something that says when the water show is. Does anybody here know when the water show is? Varky's not, not feeling well. Let's go. Take the picture while we're young. Step away from Barky, sweetie. Yeah, let me get that. You got a problem? What are you looking at? Are you really Barky the dog? Barky's a cartoon. I'm a grown man who's made a lot of mistakes. Grumpiness. Another unfortunate side effect of hunger. Grab a Snickers, packed with peanuts, caramel, and chocolate. Oh, hold on a sec. What? Hungry? Grab a Snickers. Yu Yu Haku Show now continues. <laughs> Feel free to take a little extra time with them, Togoro. I know how all you demon creatures are into torturing. Besides, my Black Black Club could use some good dirty fun. <laughs> hey, why aren't you looking, baby? I know it's the way that you like it. Humans getting killed because of you. Just like that last one. <laughs> Her memories. I can see them. My people told me these talisman cards can burn the skin right off an ice apparition with just a friendly little touch. 
Let's try. Get away! Please, stop. <laughs> Put the cards all over cell. That'll keep her from going anywhere. <laughs> I've brought you some food. You know you're not going to be in here forever, Yukina. Huh? You know, I've got a little sister back home who's about your age now. Our chance has come. Tarukane's left the country on a trip. Most of the guards are gone. We can't. You'd be in great danger. What if they caught you? Come on! Can't you think about yourself for once? <laughs> Let's show this boy what we do to traitors. <laughs> Tarukane is wrong. I don't like torture. At least, not when they're too pathetic to even defend themselves. Disgraceful! Hmm. And you call yourself a man? Seeing you live makes me sick! Interesting. Your spirit power has increased greatly. <laughs> You'll be much more fun than this carcass. Uh, oh. Get lost! I'll have to deal with you and your brother some other time! Tarukane's the one I was talking to! What? You wanna beat me up? <laughs> Sorry, kid! But I'm too expensive! Taguro! I want this creep right at you, Chris! You heard him. We don't have a choice. <laughs> Get out of my way! Your attacks are very slow. We can easily predict your every move. Hey, you're a messy. I need a favor. Huh? Okay, Takoro! You've had enough fun! I want to start collecting my money! <laughs> Come on, brother. It's too dangerous. Let's wait. You know how fast they move. This will only get you killed quicker. You haven't seen what I have. You don't know what they've done to her. Please. Fine. Then I've got your back. Are you ready? Yeah. They want to die with honor. Yes, brother. Oh, I respect their wish. Ah! The battle ends. Ingenious plan. You fighters are truly something. What just happened? Simple old friend. You've lost the bet. Well, I know that you founded the Black Black Club. However, I'm afraid we can't associate with poor men. Bye. Have fun standing in the bread line. <laughs> now, Sagash, the move to plan B. Start the chopper and make sure Yukina's with us. Nobody's gonna shut down Gonzo Torukane. Huh? Huh? The 
the game's over, you ugly fool. I saw the talisman cards hung in the tower. That explains why I couldn't find her with my Jagan eye. <clears throat> but you can't run from death forever. Wait! I don't know who the heck you are, but if it's money you're after, we can talk! Listen here! That broad behind you makes jewels you wouldn't even believe! I could pump millions from her! <sighs> 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 Oh, goodness! He is! He is here? They're just afraid of justice! <laughs> no! Please! No more. I beg of you. Are you crazy? Is this not the man who tormented you and made you his slave? He is. I have to bear that. But taking his life can't wash away all that he's done to me. It will only bring more pain. Just more nightmares. Please, no more. I can't take it. Understood. I won't make you cry. He's too worthless for that. How can I ever thank you? <gasps> Looks like things have turned out okay. Yeah. <clears throat> you seem familiar. Uh -huh. But I'm not sure why. Who are you? No one. Just a member of the team. Oh no! I forgot about them. I guess I didn't need to come here after all. How long have you been standing there? Long enough, right? Why don't you want to tell the girl? She deserves to know she has a brother. She deserves to be happy. <laughs> I thought the two were the same. This is the way I want it. Uh. Everybody's okay, but why don't you go see him to make sure? Uh, Yukina? Stay still. I can use some of my power to heal your wounds. Hey, let's go see what's happening upstairs. Huh? Oh yes, of course! Good old upstairs! I'm sorry. You were hurt because of me. <laughs> you burn. You got that from Tarukane. I saw it. Uh. I'm the one who should be saying sorry for not saving you earlier. Oh, you probably hate humans, don't you? Wow, we've got a full house, huh? And I can't blame you for it. There's lots of stupid humans out there, like most of the guys I know. But there's... there's some good ones too! Don't hate us! I can show you the good side! Don't worry. <laughs> really, I like humans. Very much. wraps up my casework for now, but I hope everyone's ready for the next one because you haven't seen anything yet. A giant new adventure is about to begin, filled with a couple of villains you know already and about 30 more that you don't. I'll have to take a trip to my favorite psychic fossil after a special visitor shows up on my home turf with a very deadly threat. It'll be training, fighting, and plenty of my killer jokes when Yu Yu Hakusho continues. Time to pull them into the backseat Son of a gun
Hey, you almost done. Yeah. Man, this stuff is complicated. Ah, I don't think I was built for this. Would you rather be out there with the dogs? I'd prefer a stand-up fight to all this hanging around. You're a real tough guy. Well, listen, I've got news. The dogs are near the tractor beam chamber. What's the situation? There's a very large security robot guarding the tractor beam. It's lost functionality over the years, but it's still got enough firepower to take on any of the dogs. Get them together in one place and get them some better weaponry. I could send additional designs. Based on what the Clydes have shown me, there are enough parts lying around there to upgrade the dogs. Word. The key is to get them all together. Unless they go after it at the same time, they don't stand a chance. Agreed. <sighs> there, that's the last of the conduits. I'm heading back to the bridge. When I get there, let's run some diagnostics. I'll tell the users it's time to form a single team. See you upstairs. Thank you for your assistance. The battle is going well. Here is an additional code that will upgrade your dogs. Good luck. Here they come, clickety-clack down the track. It's lots and lots of trains. Two of the greatest train videos we've ever offered. And now through this special TV offer, you get two videos for the price of one. You'll get big trains, little trains, steam trains, diesel freight and passenger trains, even trains that blow through snow, old trains, new trains, fast trains, slow trains, smoking trains, even trains from around the world, plus toy trains, trolley trains, and much, much more when you order lots and lots of trains. Hear the whistle blow, feel the heat, smell the smoke, as these titans of the tracks thunder on by. You'll love lots and lots of trains. And remember, this spectacular two-tape set is not available in stores. So hop on board and get two great tapes for one great prize get lots and lots of trains if you love trains don't miss out call 1-800-441-2400 to get these fantastic train videos for just $19.95 plus shipping your satisfaction is guaranteed and this special offer is not available in stores so call 1-800-441-2400 if children grow up with domestic violence they are 74 times more likely to grow up committing crimes against others children at the shelter they would just go into a rage like in the blink of an eye, they went from playing to fighting. It's scary, and you know, they didn't know better. When that mother came to me and said she wanted her son to be just like me, that's when I knew I was making a difference. AmeriCorps, taking responsibility personally. In the future, Mandark finally possesses all the power he's longed for, but he has one big problem. Dexter has a time machine. Join Dexter, 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 and Dexter in their battle to save the future of Earth. Cartoon Network's Cartoon Theater presents Dexter in his first feature, Ego Trip, at a special time, Saturday at 8 on Cartoon Network. Brought to you by the new feature-length movie, Batman Beyond, Return of the Joker. AC and stay inside. It is hot, hot. I need air. How can it be this hot this early? 98. Oh. What are we going to do about this? Get real relief this summer. Call Sears, America's cooling specialist. Now Sears carries Carrier, a world leader in cooling and heating systems. Get 0% financing for one year when you use your Sears card. Sears offers Energy Star options that can save you up to 20% in annual cooling costs, unbeatable pricing, and fast emergency installation with year-round maintenance and repair. Carrier Innovation, Kenmore Quality, Satisfaction Guaranteed. Call for a free in-home estimate and get 0% financing for one year when you use your Sears card. Air conditioning. <laughs> There's only one place to get Carrier in Kenmore. Sears, good life, great price. What a girl wants, what a girl needs, whatever makes me. Happy. These are the songs kids are singing. And now they're all together on Kids Box. Kids Box, 30 of today's biggest songs made just for kids. Newly recorded from the Kids Box Kids. Hey now, you're an all star. Get your game on, go play. You'll go crazy for Kids Box. This music all day. This is one CD that the kids and I can listen to together. This music really gets me pumped. I know. 
With Kids Bop, you'll never stop. Here's how to order. To order, call the number on your screen. You must be 18 or older to call. Bobby presents two of the greatest superheroes of all time. Together, you're learning. Batman and Superman. A special one-hour movie. World's finest. Friday at 5. Only to Bobby. What are the chances of a demon being a total wuss? For a detective, you don't know much. You have caused me pain. I do not like that. That's it. In case you didn't know, I happen to be a spirit detective. There he goes! In his last case, spirit detective Yusuke Hirameshi and his friend Kuwabara stormed the stronghold of Ganzu Terukane and battled a horde of demon mercenaries. The greatest were the strange Taguro brothers, whom Kuwabara narrowly beat with a final boost from Yusuke's spirit gun. They have rescued the ice apparition Yukina, Hiei's sister. Now, the adventure continues. come over him. Uh, I bet he's changing his image. I bet he saw a movie and now he's acting it out. No way. I say Kuwabara got rejected by a girl. <laughs> Bullseye Miyamoto. Now wait. Kuwabara was not rejected. Well, what else do you call Yukina dumping out on him and running back to the ice world? It's a long distance relationship. It's romantic. down. Yes. Not every closed case comes with a happy ending. Guess that goes for Hiei, too. Yes, I know. I've heard he still refuses to tell Yukina that he is her brother. That's right. There goes your last chance, Hiei. You really gonna let her just walk off like this without her knowing the truth? It's not important. She and I have different mothers. We're only half-siblings. There's really no point in telling her. Yeah, but weren't you looking for her? I'm a rogue and a convicted criminal. Even you have had to come and capture me. Do you think she'd be happy to know that her long-lost brother is a felon? It's best to watch her from a distance. So... Is that why you got that fake eye put in? To see her? Nonsense. Well, there's plenty of good news, too. You boys did kill the Taguro brothers and save Yukina, and Hiei was kept from killing Tarukane. I would have hated ordering you to arrest him. What are you, crazy? Me arrest Hiei? And that is precisely why there was so much ado in the spirit world about letting Hiei find out. He's considered a very valuable asset now. Now you see why we sent Hiei with the videotape, just to keep him distracted. Are all you people in charge of spirit world just stupid? What if he looked at the tape? Ever think about that? Maybe, but the fact of the matter is, he didn't. So, ha! <laughs> <laughs> huh? Enjoy your shopping! What?! Yusuke! <laughs> yeah. Hey. You're late. Here I am, with another successful case for my best project. Thank you, Botan. You're priceless. I must admit, I was about to give you a couple of black eyes. Seems like you're always putting Yusuke up against people he shouldn't be able to beat, just to see what will happen. That's just a result of your inexperience, Botan. You underestimate his true potential. 
Why, I never put him in a fight I didn't know he could win. That's incredible, sir. You knew all along? You betcha! <laughs> uh, Koenma, sir, what should we do with the black suit and eulogy I wrote for use case funeral? No, uh, well, you know, a good leader's always got to take a few precautions. Big liar! <laughs> hey, come on now. Everything turned out good in the end, didn't it? Sir, about the Taguro brothers. It's unbelievable! What? Hmm? Sorry, sir. We accidentally left the tape running after the battle. So? What's your point? Just watch. Be quiet, sir. Excellent performance, Tagoros. You almost had me fooled. We have excellent hearing. Once we overheard the boy's plan, it was simple to play along. Though I was afraid I was going to kill them both before I could fake a believable loss. <laughs> I hope you don't mind me letting the girl go. I didn't see any good reason for making her die. Who knows, maybe you'll want to profit off her tears someday. That's fine. The girl is of no consequence to me now, not when I think of all the money our great plan will be affording me. We're so glad that our client is pleased. Now my brother and I, we have a little favor to ask in return. Please give us an opportunity to fight with those boys again. This time, seriously. But of course, Tagoro. They will be two of the most anticipated guests in the Dark Martial Arts competition. I should have known all along. Extorting Tarukane's fortune was only half your plan. You wanted to see the competition. <laughs> You're very keen. So tell me what you thought of their powers. That Yusuke Urameshi boy is very intriguing. He lacks the fighting experience, but could be a dangerous weapon. The competition will be held in two months, so you better make sure you're ready. What are we going to do, Koenma? They're after Yusuke! Yes, and they will no doubt entice him to fight in this competition! But you know how these fights will be. Are you done yet? That clerk thinks I'm stealing stuff. One second, I found the perfect outfit. Now we can grab a bite to eat somewhere, and then go on to the park. What? Do we really have to go there too? Uh-huh. This is the part when Yusuke makes his escape. <sighs> you going somewhere? Who, me? <laughs> Surely you wouldn't have the nerve to run out on me two dates in a row, would you, Yusuke? <laughs> uh, no, of course not. Uh, well, uh, the park it is. Have a nice day, you two. Look, this is your last warning. Please stand back. Huh? <laughs> that looked dangerous. Yeah, better check it out. Hey, Yusuke! This area is now closed! Disperse immediately! <laughs> That's weird. <gasps> what causes that? Are you already forgotten? Guess it'll make much of an impression on people. There's no way. It 
Is something the matter, Yusuke? You have the strangest look of surprise on your face. I'm sorry. When I kill people, I'm used to them staying dead. I suggest you come with me for a talk. After all, you wouldn't want something bad to happen to your precious girlfriend. <laughs> Just like cotton candy. Sweet. You never know what DQ's gonna hit you with next. This time it's the new cotton candy blizzard. DQ something different. Excuse me, Barky. What time's the next water show? Someone should put a sign up or something that says when the water show is. Does anybody here know when the water show is? Grumpiness. Another unfortunate side effect of hunger. Grab a Snickers packed with peanuts, caramel, and chocolate. Hungry? Grab a Snickers. Introducing Tony the Tiger's new Cinnamon Cruncher cereal. Crunchy and covered with delicious cinnamon and sugar flavor that won't wash off and melt. So, the only place the cinnamon flavor goes is in your mouth. Part of a complete breakfast. Go right till it's gone. Capri Sun Lemonade. It's here, and everyone's on the way. Spread the word. A new thirst-quenching flavor is here. And it's liquid cool. New Capri Sun Lemonade. It's new! Jello Pudding Bites! The great taste of pudding. Ingrabable. Bouncy. Chewy bite. You've never seen anything like them. Now that's yummy news you're gonna love. New Jello Pudding Bites in chocolate, vanilla, and strawberry. Start believing in ghost stories. You're in one. Here they come. That's interesting. Pirates of the Caribbean, the curse of the Black Pearl. With PG-13, starts Wednesday, July 9th. For Sakura Avalon, life was all the boys and school work. Does everyone know what their assignments are? Yeah. But an ancient book in the basement has changed everything. You gotta expect things. When you least expect them. When the cloud book opened, the world felt its fury. No. Now, Sakura and her friends must defeat the cloud cards one by one before they destroy the world. 
The greatest sorcerer on the planet is a ten-year-old girl, and the only thing scarier than battling the cards is doing her homework. These are the Guardians of Earth. Card Captors, Monday, June 4th at 5. It's all in the cards. You are a card captain now. Kids love it. Haku Show now continues. Surely you didn't think you'd actually beaten me. Money decided that fight long before you entered the ring. But don't be angry. You might soon have a chance to fight me on fair terms and not get so easily crushed. Why don't you get to the point, muscles? I've got better things to do with my time than waste it with you. You're afraid of me. What? Amused is more like it. There's no one here to impress, Yusuke. And I can see your entire body shaking. The ability to fear your enemies is one of your strengths. It forces you to reach your potential. But you haven't been scared enough. You need some motivation, and that's why I've come here. To show you my true power! I only used 20% of my strength when I fought with you and your friend. <gasps> so why don't I now show you? <laughs> there. That's 60%. <laughs> <laughs> Understand, this is the last time I will save your life. <laughs> Two months from now, a martial arts competition will be taking place. Oh, sounds like fun. <laughs> it's a dark tournament, organized by greedy human crime lords and drawing on the most vile demons of the spirit world. Each criminal gathers a team of five fighters, and the teams battle to the death. Humans enter for gambling and entertainment. Demons fight for blood, and the chance to win the prize. You and Kuwabara are special guests in this competition. If you refuse, I will immediately kill you and everyone you know. If you want to survive these fights, I suggest you get stronger. Yusuke, you got so scared around him you couldn't even friggin' move! You idiot! He's gonna kick your stupid butt! What's going on? We beat him! I assume from your dismal faces that you've been invited to the competition as well. On Urameshi's team, no doubt. Demons who side with humans will get no sympathy. Sympathy has never been a part of those fights. As you know, the teams are made of five, so you'll have to recruit another fighter. For your sake, I hope you find someone useful. What is 
our chance. Don't ask. <laughs> it's about time you came back. Please tell me you've gotten a little better. At this rate, you'll never survive. This time, I won't go easy. Do you realize the danger you will be in? Yeah. Hiei cannot prepare you for the viciousness of the fights. Your weakness and his honor make him go easy on you. I will not. Okay, come on! Toughen me up! As you wish. Here goes. <laughs> Old hag. <laughs> Doesn't hurt, slacker. <laughs> Did you come all the way here just so you could waste more of my time? It's different this time. I promise I'll push as hard as I can. <laughs> <laughs> In this way, two months of training passed. <laughs> it's about time this tournament day arrived. Now we can kill without getting those pursuers after us. <laughs> and imagine our power once we've gotten that prize. We're the ones who are going to get the power. Go home if you don't want to die. Obviously, you haven't seen us fight yet. I think I smell a human over there. <laughs> Maybe he's come here to be our dinner. Your Meshi still hasn't showed up yet. What could that dummy be doing now? Hopefully, he's finding us a fifth fighter. Why don't you worry about yourself, Kuwabara? Have you gotten any better since our last fight? <laughs> You'll see for yourself, Shrimp Boy. If we win this competition, I'm gonna get super famous. Yeah, that way Yukina and I can be together forever. The ship is here, mateys. Now let's try to get on board without any violence. Uh, hey, wait a minute, sir. Our team still has some stragglers. Then we'll have to put a mark on that edge and send out a hitman. Standard rule of the tournament. Now, now, that's not necessary. <gasps> hmm? Sorry to keep you waiting, guys. You nearly gave me a heart attack, you machine! <laughs> <laughs> These forest hikes really wipe me out. Yeah, you look awful. Oh, wait, <laughs> that's just you. <laughs> Use K. Hmm? I thought that they were on the same team. Gosh, the fast. I can barely keep up with my eyes. Well, EA, I see your people skills are getting better. Hmm. I don't know where you've been all this time, but it seems you've improved your skills a little bit. Improved a little bit? Oh man, I'd say he improved a lot of bits! Don't be discouraged. The fact that you could follow their moves shows that you have improved as well. So, Yusuke, I assume the little one over there is going to be the fifth member of our team? Huh? You mean this little guy here? He's even smaller than he is! Then what's wrong with his face? He looks like a mummy or something. Trust me, that one's gonna be a lot of help to us. I don't know, he barely comes to my waist. Forget him. Use K and I are all that we'll require. Enough of pesky distractions! Let's all get on board! 
And so the next adventure begins for spirit detective Yusuke Urameshi and his friends on a ship filled with bizarre demons who all have a craving for blood. What is this strange new world where the dark tournament will begin? And can Yusuke even get there alive? Hey guys, it's me, and I'm about to get some much-needed shut-eye while my teammates take care of a little problem on deck. It turns out that from the whole shipload of fighters, only one team is really eligible for the tournament. And that means an all-out war between everyone on board. And in case you didn't know, demons tend to fight pretty dirty, so it's going to be intense. You don't want to miss the next whip-flashing, fist-flying madness next time on Yu Yu Hakusho! Okay, that's it for the diagnostics. At least the engines will work, if and when we get out of this. If and when, indeed. Currently, I calculate a 40% probability that the docks can destroy the sentry robots. One of the clients is sending us a live feed of the battle. It seems to be going well. Nice. Let's collect the docks and get out of here. Open the launch bay and let's hit it. So, oh, hey, what about that ship broadcasting the distress signal? Did you ever break the code? Yes, it reads, Do not attempt to enter this area. Please help. We have been caught in a tractor beam and are being sucked in. <laughs> Well, I guess we figured that one out a little late. So where are they? The ship's fired its engines and appears to be moving away from us. Wonder who was in there. Hyperspace on my mark. I want to get as far away from that thing as we can. Plotting a course. Hyperspace in five, four, three, two, one. Mark. where you control every move, every shot. You're going down. RC Hockey rules. And so does RC Soccer. Like RC Hockey, you skate, check, and shoot just like the real game. RC Hockey and RC Soccer, each sold separately, batteries not included. Monster surgery, three games in one. Just do what the monster said. Remove my tongue. Who can find the right body part? You're getting closer. And remove it first. You hit it. Mad Lab Monster Surgery from MGA, batteries not included. Did you read a book to the kids? No, their friend Jeffrey said he'd read them one. Who? Ooh, and here on the next page, check out the Disney princess toys. The interactive tea set. Ooh, turn. Ooh, mini princess doll set. Now that's a cute toy. The Toys R Us big toy book. Magical toys like Disney's interactive Princess Bell doll. Cinderella's musical castle with Cinderella and Prince Charming. Or Disney's Princess Magic Talk Deluxe playset with Belle and Beast. Toys R Us. More fun, more choices, more ways to play. Oh, sorry I didn't mean to spit on you there, kids. I just get so excited. That was a close one. Guess we need to give credit where it's due. <sighs> Tom. Oh, right. Thanks to those of you who showed up. You were all a great deal of help. Oh, and Blue Team, nice work. We really couldn't have done it without you. Congrats on a sweet win. As for the 
rest of you will stick around. Never know what may happen next. Late. logical explanation for that. Oh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> What's going on? Mm, yeah. Well, you know, Kiro, I keep having that same dream. Oh, about this kid on a tower with the cloud cards. Huh? Fine. What you know? Sakura? <sighs> hmm. I'm up already. Sounds like you got company. Is that right? Well, whatever you say, Squirt. I heard voices. Nope. Nobody's in here. <laughs> Everybody mm. knows stuff toys can't talk, Tori. Mm-hmm. I think you're really losing it, Squirt. Get out! Ah, <laughs> oh, why does he always do that? Oh, <laughs> by the way, I'm leaving in ten, so... <sighs> hmm. What does it mean? What's with that dream? Get over it, Sakura. Hmm? You got bigger fish to fry, kiddo. For example... What? Capturing the cloud cards? Yeah, I know that. But do you really, Sakura? Look, kid, you gotta expect things when you least expect them. Huh? Sakura, you're going to be late. I'm coming! Tori, wait up! Take it easy. Wait! Tori, slow down! That's what happens when you sit in your room talking to yourself. Tori, I was not. Hey, Julian! <gasps> Uh, hi. Sorry we're late. The squirt was having a very deep conversation. He giving you a hard time again? As usual. I know what I heard. She's ten years old and still talks to imaginary friends. It's pretty pathetic, don't Barbie. you think? Are you feeling okay? Oh, yeah. I had a strange dream last night. <laughs> yeah? Dreams can tell you what you least expect. Huh? The unexpected. That's just what Kiro said. In fact, this morning I had a dream just like that. Yeah? Very deja vu. It was really quite amazing. I dreamt that I'd have French toast for breakfast. And you know what? I did! Uh, <laughs> whoa! Another video camera? It's a new digital version my mom got. Great! <laughs> and sorry, but chrominance reduction is a good thing? <laughs> it cuts down the color noise. Madison! And we are noisy! <laughs> hey, guys! <laughs> morning, Rita! <laughs> How's it going? <laughs> good morning, class. Take your seats, please. Hmm. Hmm. <sighs> oh. 
Hope you all had a good weekend. I have a surprise for you. We have a new exchange student, Lee Shouron. Come on in. Why do you suppose we're getting an exchange student this time of year? I don't know. <laughs> That's him! Staring at you. Mm. Please welcome Lee to Readington Elementary. Okay, Lee, where shall we seat you? Let's see now. Why don't you sit behind Sakura? <gasps> Your seat's right over here, Lee. Cartoon Network had a great idea. Combine the finest action cartoons with the fattest beats and computer animation. Now we're taking another important step forward. The Internet. We're excited to announce Toonami.com. Check the new Blue Falcon and Dino Mutt Cyber Comics. Get some downloadables, even little icons of me. Thanks, Toonami faithful. You make all this possible. Rest assured, the best is yet to come. This Friday on CCF, Eustace is back hosting. And eh, phooey. And check out the new cartoon cartoon, Uncle Gus. He doesn't have much except for that new TV. But when he sees his long lost love still wearing their engagement ring at the zoo, Uncle Gus and his pals are off to win her back. If the monkeys don't get them first, we've also got a brand new episode of Courage the Cowardly Dog. So join Eustace this Friday at 7.30 for Cartoon Cartoon Fridays. Only on Cartoon Network. Sock em boppers, sock em boppers Bop em once and you can bop em twice Sock em boppers, sock em boppers More fun than a pillow fight Blow them up, have the time of your life Sold two in a box It's the power of Spider-Man in the palm of your hand Now you can be the ultimate web-slinger With the new Spider-Man Web Blaster On a mission to blast the Green Goblin Battery low Evil is no match for you Enter Spider-Man Web Blaster The Spider-Man Web Blaster comes with two cans of web fluid And also shoots water there's nothing more painful than watching your child struggling to read. It's even more difficult not knowing how to help. It's really frustrating to watch your child struggling to do something like reading. I wouldn't want to read because I knew I was struggling. My son would always say that He's not a good student because he couldn't read. I used to feel embarrassed in class because I didn't know how to read. You, you want to do everything you can to help them. You want to give them your brain. You, you want to do it for them and you realize you can't and that, that's a killer. But now you can give your children the key to success, the phonics game, the fun, fast and easy way to teach your children the reading and spelling skills they need to get ahead. We have tried everything, and there's no question that the phonics game is the best tool out there for teaching a child how to read. The phonics game is fun, it is easy, they can figure it out at a very young age. They have a great time playing it. I think the phonics game is confidence in a box. The phonics game is so effective, we promise one full letter grade improvement in reading or spelling on your child's next report card or your money back. That's a promise and a guarantee. Phonics game teaches you all your letters and it's really fun to play. Now that I have the phonics game, I like to learn. My teacher really noticed that my reading was better. The phonics game is the best present that my mom ever bought me. Now I love to read. Helping your child to read and spell goes beyond getting an A in class. You're helping your child get an A in life. 
You want me to read it again? Yes. Start helping your child today. Visit our website at gamestolearn.com or call the toll-free number on your screen. Order the phonics game and we'll send you the American Heritage Children's Dictionary CD-ROM free. Call the phonics game because a child who reads has a better chance to succeed. What the heck? Enemies? It looks like it might be a Gundam, sir. Gundam Wave will return in a moment. Princess Ayaka, heir to the throne of Jirai. She chose to stay with Tenshi and show him his destiny. Marry her, of course. Tenshi Muyo, tonight at 6. Love sticks. Only Tsunami. Gotham has forgotten what justice means. The Dark Knight is here to remind them. Batman, tonight at 6.30, good guys wear black. If you thought you knew everything there is to know about Pokemon, prepare to be shocked, rocked, and shaken. Back to save the world by popular demand. Pokemon the Movie 2000. Nothing is stronger than the power of one. Starts July 21st. Ready G. Beginning opening weekend. Free with every admission. You can receive the mysterious ancient Mew game card for the Pokemon trading card game. Only in the first week or while supplies last. Get ready for a double whammy. Let's get started. Monday through Friday night, Toonami's taking over the TV. Here's the breakdown. Midnight, Gundam Wing, uncut. Yeah, you heard me. 12.30, Dragon Ball Z, the greatest action cartoon ever made. Unbelievable! Toonami, the midnight run. Tonight, midnight to 1 a.m. Thank us later. Only Toonami. Duel Monsters is the name of the game, and Yugi and his friends know how to play it. But there's a new player in town who is upping the ante. Seto Kaiba. Kaiba. Kaiba is taking dual monsters to the next level. Maybe we could all duel together sometime. <laughs> you wouldn't last two minutes in a duel against me. Using the Millennium Puzzle, Yugi must fight Kaiba and his monsters. Exodia. The Judge Man. Dark Magician. Yu-Gi-Oh! Tonight at 9.30 on Cartoon Network. Card Captors now continues. Excuse me? What? Source of light with ancient spin. Huh? Send forth the magic power within. Oracles of gold, wood, water, fire, earth, clouds, wind, Rain and electricity. Force, know my plight. Release the light! It is you! You do have them! I... have what? What do you think this is, Chinese checkers? It's a laser board. It knows all. Clock hearts! The clock hearts? I know you've got them. Even if I did, I'm not giving them to you. I'm capturing them for Kiro. Wait a minute. Do you mean Kiro Barrows? Yeah, that's right. Hmm. Since when does a guardian beast let someone like you handle the cloud cards? Uh, I accidentally let the cards out of the cloud book. I didn't even know what it was. So where do you... Ha! Uh. Kiro Barrows was supposed to guard the cloud cards. Don't tell me they all escaped. Yep. But you got some of them back, right? Yeah, a few. I'm working on it. And you're a card captor? That's pretty pathetic. Oh, so I hear. Wait! How do you know about the cloud cards anyway? That's none of your business. But I'm taking over. Uh. 
Give them to me! Um... No! Exactly who do you think you are anyway, Lee? You'd be surprised. Give me the card. Don't pick on my sister, kid. Why don't you go home before someone gets hurt? Namely, you. Hey! Anybody here hungry? Look what I have. I was starving. Wow. So what'd you think of the physics exam? A sure good thing we reviewed quasars, huh? Uh, oh, uh, hi. Come on, there's lots. One for you, one for you, and one for you. Uh, here, you want some? Huh? Guess he's not hungry. So, do you think Kiro will know what to do about that Lee guy? Sure. He's the guardian of the cloud cards. Right. He's probably at home right now, planning our next move. <laughs> yeah, I bet you're right. <gasps> Sakura. That's it? Don't forget, you are a card captor now. You know, you've been chosen to get the cloud cards back. And that's what you gotta be worried about. Not some insignificant little schoolyard scuffle. What? This is powerful magic we're dealing with here. Uh-huh. There are gonna be a few bumps along the way. Kiro, he tried to take the cloud cards. Maybe it's time for a little history lesson. Sorcery is an ancient tradition. Now, most sorcerers practice in line with their traditions, but my master, Cloud Reed, created a new kind of magic when he created the Cloud Cards. Great, but what's that got to do with Lee Sho Ron? Yeah, I'm getting to that part. What do you mean, Kiro? Huh? There are some people who study magic all of their lives. Well, you could say that they're uh, born into the tradition. Your point is? Lee Sho-Ron is a descendant of Clow Reed. <gasps> what? If Lee is part of Clow Reed's family, I should have given him these cards after all. Mm-mm. Doesn't work like that. Why? Sakura, try and keep up, will ya? The cards were in the book. The book had a seal on it. You broke the seal. And only a person with specially chosen powers has that kind of ability. Don't you get it? You're the one who found the book. The one who signed the cards. You have the right to them. You're the one who's destined to have them. Hello, Sakura speaking. Sakura. Oh, hey, Madison. You 
gotta look outside, at the sky. Why? You've got some cards to capture. Wow, I guess I do. I'll meet you in ten. Now you're talking! You are watching Toonami. It's not pink, it's Cyber Rose, it's high-tech, and it's in all the magazines, Sakura. Huh? High-tech, huh? Non-conducting titanium and rubber. Well, uh, she's got a point there. Rubber will protect you from lightning. Only for you, Madison. going to thank me. Let's fly! Oh, what a shot. Sakura, did you notice if Lee had some kind of magic device with him? Uh-huh. He called it a laser board. That gives him a predictive edge that could be a little problematic for us. Uh -oh. Ah, don't worry. You're the rifle card captor. We'll just capture that thunder card before the Lee kid manages to show up. That's right. I'll show him. Transform it to its visible form. And that would be how? Heads up! Uh -huh. Jump car! Here goes! Light. Release the light! Listen up, Lee. She is just getting stuck. Windy Cart will take care of this. Here, put it away. Windy can't stand up against Thunder. But, Lee, I've captured other cards using the Windy Card. In case you hadn't noticed, kids, your Raizu remains on the warpath while you keep arguing. Shadow card, don't you? Uh huh. Okay. Force, know my plight. Release the light. Lightning! have a clue about this, do you? Hey, hey, take it easy. Everybody's got to start somewhere. Huh? What's this thing? This is Kira. No way! Uh, uh, Kira Barrows? The guardian beast of the seal? The greatest guardian beast of all. The beast with the golden eyes. Is a stuffed animal? Sir, you right. You two are a joke. I was 
was appointed by Cloud Reed himself. Hmm. A lot of good that did. Hi, Lee. Hmm. Whatever. Hey! The Chroman introduction worked great. What's wrong? Hey, you pulled it off. Yeah, but this is only the beginning. Hey, Kai fans! Welcome to Kuro's Corner, where I get to give you the behind-the-scenes inside check just between you and me, Lowdown Info, and some of the stuff in this show that's gonna keep you on the cutting edge. Good idea, huh? So, how about Sakura's battle costume? <laughs> Pretty wild, don't you think? Oh, yeah. Madison made this battle outfit with an apron over the top, a tail like a cat, and bells, too. <laughs> she called it very in, but high-tech, too, remember? Now, see, Sakura was battling against Thunder, so Madison had to make it out of materials that wouldn't conduct electricity. And now, check out this! Added rear guard protection. That great big bow is non-conducting, too. Now, the ears, well, they're just for decoration. Madison may be a techno nut, but, you know, she just couldn't resist. And that's our behind-the-scenes look for today. But I guarantee that Madison has got a zillion ideas for even wilder battle costumes in the episodes to come. So stay tuned. See ya! Gundams have arrived. Gundams? The fight for Earth has begun. Cartoon Network and Bandai are putting the battle in your hands. We're given 100 lucky winners their very own Gundam V8 or Gundam Heavy Arms. What? Nice. Five grand prize winners get the whole shebang. Roger that. 21 Gundam Wing Action Figure Model Kits. Check it out. Pretty sweet. Just watch Cartoon Network Friday from 4 to 7 for the toll-free number. You get through, you win. The following each one a Hasbro toy or game in the Toy Transit sweepstakes. For the next 30 minutes, please wait by your phone for a confirmation call from Cartoon Network. You'll have to stow that in preparation for landing. Sorry. Welcome to Taco Bell. May I help you? Hmm. I want to make a topping taco and a burrito I can squeeze. Something else that feels like this. I want my play no fees. The Taco Bell playset. Case of colors sold separately. Fun to play with, not to eat. You the man! You know just how to handle new Boppin' Extreme. Uh, don't ya? See, now you gotta sweat five lightning-fast reflex-testing commands. You can bop it, right? New Boppin' Extreme. Batteries not included. It has been sighted throughout the land, spewing balls as it approaches. Cootie Jitterbug! Cootie catchers try to return their balls before Cootie Jitterbug flings them back. Who will defend your hometown? It's cootie catching time! New Cootie Jitterbug. You put Cootie together. Batteries not included. You can join the quest to be a Pokemon trading card game Master Trainer. Master, how can I knock out two or three Pokemon at once? It's in the box. I need a deck builder and advanced game strategy. In the box. What about boosters in the box? The Pokemon Thunderstorm gift box comes complete with everything a trainer needs to play. Thunderstorm! And play better. Cool. Where'd you get that game coin? Ask that guy. The Thunderstorm gift box. You can master the game. Attention Earth, RoboCheap heads approaching. Ready to transport? RoboCheap ready. Energize and beam. It's RoboCheap. Oh. RoboCheap up. Reacts to touch and sound. He digs his bone. Energize and beam. It's Meowchie. Meowchie. Loves her mouth. Yeah. RoboCheap yeah. play with you and each other too. Yeah. Energize and beam. Now from Disney's 102 Dalmatians, it's Little Dipper, Oddball, and Domino. Interactive yeah. and... Intergalactic. New RoboCheap pets. Each sold separately. Batteries not included. Challenge! This one will strike like lightning. Nice shoes, gonna clip your wings. You're grounded, jet lag. The challenge is in the game. New beast machines, electronic jet storm, and electronic night stream sold separately.
Watch the Cowardly Dog on Cartoon Cartoon Friday. Stupid dog! All right, here's the toll-free number. 1-800-325-0000. That number again, 1-800-325-0000. Don't sleep on it. Good luck. One of the questions we're trying to answer is, how did they manage to build those huge pyramids? Here is where time becomes our friend as well as our enemy. We benefit from theories of centuries past, but these structures suffer from time as well as through weather, erosion, and humans. This piece of limestone, for example, is all that's left of one two and a half ton building block from King Khufu's pyramid in... Sakura, your dad's a good speaker. 40 years to build. Mm -hmm. So, you could say we're in a race against time. Oh, gosh, it looks like that's all the time I've got this morning. Thanks for inviting me. But the pyramids won't disappear, will they? No, not right away, but eventually. But they're so huge that it seems hard to imagine one day there won't be anything left. When you think that King Khufu's pyramid has nearly 3 million blocks in it... What? ...that it covers 13 acres, is 482 feet high, and was built in 2700 B.C. Huh? It probably has a few good years left. But we don't want to waste any time. There are a lot of pyramids that need our protection. I wonder why they're in the shape of triangles. You interested in pyramids? Oh, yeah. Well, then, why don't you come by the university after school sometime? We have an excellent Egyptology collection. That sounds great. <laughs> See you there. All right. Ancient secret. Sakura's dad sure is a pretty nice guy, huh, Lee? What? Sakura's dad? Duh. Our Sakura Avalon is this Professor Avalon's daughter. Huh? Uh-uh. Okay, it's now or never. Come on, Prince Cylon, let's get those pink coins what they deserve. And we'll be back home before you can say... Whoa, whoa, yeah! On to the final level! What do you want, Squirt? Uh, uh, um... Uh, hey, what's going on? Um, food. Uh, eating. Thanks for the snacks, Squirt. You hungry, Julian? Oh, wow. Pastry puffs. It's I, late. Uh, Time for bed? Thanks, uh, Sakura. Oven. Good night. I just stood there. Uh, it doesn't sound that bad. Forget about it, kid. Yeah, you're right. <sighs> Last level tomorrow. Sweet dreams, Sakura. You too. I've got that big music test tomorrow. I'm afraid I didn't practice enough. Boy, Kiro, you sure are obsessing over that game. Yeah, I know. But it's a great one. And just one more level to go.
the park at birthday parties and in the car it's sugar beats the award-winning collection of pop songs from the 60s 70s and 80s specially recorded for parents and kids of all ages we listen to sugar beats all the time She was just a walking down the street singing. I can't believe these kids know the words to all these great songs. Contains 30 of the greatest rock songs of all time, guaranteed to make you want to. Kick my heels up and shout, throw my hands up and shout, throw my hands back and shout. Walk like an Egyptian. collection is not sold in stores. These are the songs that I grew up on, and now my kids love them too. Sugar Beats is the recipient of the prestigious Parents' Choice Honors. First delivery available. Now when we're in the car, we can all agree on one tape. Sugar Beats. To order Sugar Beats, call the number on your screen or send check or money order. Two CDs, 1999. Two cassettes, 1599. Rush delivery available. This collection is not sold in stores. The heart? The tone age family, right? Right. I'm for them. The time has come for your voice to be heard by voting in Cartoon Campaign 2000. Tune into Cartoon Network tonight at 7 p.m. for complete, in-depth coverage of your favorite candidates, their platforms, and their cartoons. But most importantly, tune in to vote your candidate for president. So let's work together, shall we? Brought to you by Post Kids Serials. The fun starts here. I sculptor Nicole. Excuse me, ice artist. Artist is making a giant penguin. That's art? That's not art. That's bogus. Yeah. <laughs> Flaming hot Cheetos, anyone? Flaming hot Cheetos. So hot, careful where you eat them. <laughs> Cheetos, flaming hot snacks. Dangerously hot. Nothing's bigger than the WCW, because we've got more power with WCW Power Slam Wrestlers. Power Slam Wrestlers are stronger and tougher, and nothing gets in their way. With spinning kicks, Goldberg Spear, Sting's Bat Attack, and Nash's Power Bomb, these giants of wrestling will knock the competition down to size. Are you ready to come where the big boys play? Then you're ready for WCW Power Slam Wrestlers. Just try to top us. WCW Power Slam Wrestlers, figures and rings sold separately. A secret war is being waged against the Earth Sphere Alliance. What's happening? Shoot it down! It can only succeed with five ruthless young men. What's happening? And the deadly power of their Gundams. You won't get away. Retreat! Gundam Wing, today at 5.30. Suit up. Oh, I'm late. Hi, 
to get back to sleep with all that no, racket I'm going on. Music does just... Hey, hey! Don't worry about it. You're gonna do just fine, Sakura. Oh, bye! Good luck on your test. Okay. Sure, I think I left some of my fingers at home. As long as you remember to breathe, Sakura, you'll be just fine. And next up is Sakura Avalon. Ah, uh, right! Hmm. <laughs> Sakura, remember to breathe! Okay. music test this morning. It's too bad I can't go back and do it all over again. I know I can play much better than that. If only I'd practice just a little harder. Hey! What? Oh. So he can walk and play the recorder at the same time. Big deal! <laughs> Sakura! He still doesn't think I deserve to be a card captor. Heads up! And how did it go on your test today, kids? Hey, Tori, how did it go for you today? A as usual. Ugh. Well, not for me, okay? Use a tip, Sakura. If you want to do better, practice. <laughs> you know, maybe some extra practice wouldn't hurt. <laughs> <laughs> enough, so I'm going to show them next time. Good idea! Expect the unexpected! <laughs> yeah, absolutely! Deja 
deja vu. Like being in a place you've never been before. But it seems like you have. Or feeling like you've had the same conversation with someone before, but you didn't. I can remember everything so clearly. Those boys there. And it's exactly the same. What are you talking about? It all happened yesterday. And next, a ball will come flying at Lee, and he'll score a goal. Well, here he is now, right on cue. Oh, wait. He's not playing the recorder. Sakura, do you notice something going on? Yeah. We had a music test yesterday. Am I right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, are you thinking what I'm thinking? No one but us has noticed that yesterday is repeating itself. There's a cloud card around. What? You mean you don't sense it? You're hopeless. Come on, Sakura. It's in the clock tower. Look out! Wow, you're getting good at that. Wow, that was a great shot, Lee. Don't you just love your battle costume? <laughs> Madison, I don't know. Oh, you look great. If you say so. This costume is for undetected night flight. Mm -hmm. Discovering this cloud card is proof that you're really getting the hang of this, Sakura. Well, okay, I... camera's ready. Okay, let's fly! Since the cloud car. It's in there. Whoa, what's this? What's happening? Slowing us down! Right? It's amazing how you just get these things. Living the same day three times is too much for me. I'd like to move on if you don't mind. No kidding. I have to keep taking the same music test. You think playing Xylon Warriors isn't a test? Not everyone gets to the final level, you know. Okay! I just know I can't stand to take the same music test one more time. Pathetic. Huh? Lee, you've got a bandage on your nose. He was hit by the soccer ball. Hope you scored a goal at least. A 
it was a lucky shot. Uh, Sakura, listen! There's an escape card up there that needs to be captured, and the only way is to get another card to destroy that tower! What? But you can't do that! Why not? Well, first of all, Lee, someone in town might get hurt, and people depend on that clock. Well, have you got any better ideas, Miss Card Captor? Okay, I've had a few setbacks, but I'm very close to a breakthrough. Sakura, this is where my years of experience pay off. Oh. The cloud card's in the clock tower, right? Yeah. And when you fly towards it, time goes all weird, right? Yeah. That's right. Where are you going? To capture a card. Hmm. You think I'd look like this? Sorry. The time card belongs to Lee. Well, okay. Morning, Madison. Hi, Sakura. Here's hoping today's another day. Yeah, I guess. Although I wouldn't notice, would I? Hey, what did you bring Matt for? Just in case we have another music test today. That was yesterday. This morning, we've got a spelling test in English class. First thing. Huh? It's inside check just between you and me. Lowdown scoop on some of the most interesting little card captain details that fill our lives. Sakura's still having a hard time with some of Madison's battle costumes. <laughs> Did you notice? But Madison has her reasons. In theory, by designing the costume to look like Tinkerbell, Sakura would be able to get past time's ancient form. Well, it didn't really work that way, but Madison gets points for trying. Now, the wings are a booster system for Sakura's magical abilities. All very high tech and aerodynamic, I might add. And now, check out this! The kids at Sakura School all have the same school bags. Oh, you will be amazed at the amount of stuff that you can fit in one of these. The only thing you can't carry around in it is time. But as you've seen, carrying time around like yesterday's lunch might give you a second chance at some things, but it can get pretty stale. <laughs> Nothing unexpected about that. See ya!
Up is back. I'm a survivor. I'm not going to give up. I'm not and it's so much fun. It's Kids Bop 2, 30 of today's biggest songs specially recorded for kids by the Kids Bop Kids. Rock out with the Kids Bop Kids. I can be your hero, baby. Can you take me high? You can't get this two CD collection in any store. the girl, you know she acts so tough, tough, tough. Well, it's turn out the light, turn out the light. Kids Bop 2 is perfect for the car, kids' parties, or just hanging out with friends. Get crazy with the Kids Bop Kids. You can order this collection online at musicspacekids.com. Kids Bob 2, 30 newly recorded kid-friendly versions of today's biggest songs. All I want is you, come over here baby. All I want is you, now you're making me crazy. You remind me of a girl. These songs will get your party started. Maybe when you finally leave. Remember, this 30-track collection is not sold in any store. It's gonna be me. Kids Bop Rule! The Bop never stops. Kids Bop 2. There she blows. That's Captain Forrest, the submarine commander. He can see everything from under the sea. <laughs> but can he see why kids love Cinnamon Toast Crunch? Mm. It's got great waves. Dive into this water, boy. There's swirls of cinnamon sugar on every bite. An undiscovered part of this complete breakfast. I see. Right. <laughs> Cinnamon Toast Crunch, the taste you can see. All right, big fella. Come here, you want to go and see more? valuable job skills. All from a part-time deal. As little as one weekend a month, two weeks a year. But part-time is time enough to earn serious money. For starters, an enlistment bonus as high as $8,000. Up to $20,000 for college costs, plus your pay. And right now, jobs with the future are yours for the taking. Right in your area. So go for it. Give us a call or visit GoArmyReserve.com. Get what you want out of life in the Army Reserve. Rule number one. I'm number one. Big Joe Dirt. Dang. Little Joe Dirt. Dang. Same hair. What? Same dirt. What's up, Goat Roper? Goat Roper. Joe Dirt. It's good stuff. Rated PG-13. Now playing in theaters everywhere. Level 5 Gundam, 17 hours. Level 4, 3 days. 5 levels. Level 3, 2 hours a night. Up to 140 parts. Level 1, Gundam, 1 hour. Near endless articulation. Level 5, 10 hours. Gundam, what's your level of commitment?